Yo, I'm feeling good right now, as you can tell. You know, different aesthetics, different room, different vibe, different energy. We got spicy guests with me. We got, yes, sir. We got, we got kind of secret. Mm, yes. Yes. How you feeling? How you feeling? Good. I feel good. Yeah. Other than my voice, I feel good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, for everybody that doesn't know. Um, Kenneth Secret is actually a guest that I had uh, a year prior in my podcast, like literally, you know, podcast, I'm still doing the podcast, but he was actually a guest last year, so it's good to still see you here, like yeah. I've been saying it like a leap around the sun, Oh yeah. I think I'm saying it right, <laughs> I just look, got corrected before. And then a whole year later, you're, exactly. in like a, you're in a better spot, I'm in a better spot. All that, it's all know? good energy, yeah. we're still alive, COVID didn't get us, nope. COVID did it not might, get might, us. It might have got us, might have got us. A but, little bit, yeah, so. but it didn't get us though. <laughs> So how you feeling though? Besides your voice and stuff like that, how are you? I'm good, good. Everything's good. Just yeah. been, you know, working hard. Yeah. Trying to, you know, trying to make it happen. Okay. Pretty much. So, the last time we spoke, I remember you. I believe you just got back from Miami. Yeah. Um, you shot Dream Girl. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yeah, that was like you shot Dream Girl. Yeah. So what's up? What's been going on after that? Nothing. So we we shot Dream Girl. Uh, we came back, we dropped it, uh, a little EP called Mood. Okay. Uh, like six, I think five or six songs on there. Uh, and then throughout the summer and stuff, we kept just dropping songs, like a single here and there, single here and there, videos. We got visuals, a lot more visuals now. I think Dream Girl is the first one where I like, I think maybe we have like seven or eight uploaded now uh, yeah. within like that span, which is, we, we, we want to be able to crank out more, but mm -hmm. whatever. I think we're doing a good job right now if we just got to stick with Okay. Drop and consistently keep making yes. videos and shit, you know? That's the main part. I feel like, you know, I'm I'm starting to get to know that myself. I feel like when it comes to building your brand, it's all about being consistent. Hell and yeah. it's really up to you. Nobody's going to build your brand except for yourself. Exactly. Or a good team, which mm -hmm. I see, I, yeah, I see build, that you yeah, have, yeah, yeah, and it's great. A we got my, my boy Christian on the camera right now, and he's not even a camera guy. Oh, so, it's okay. Know. Let's drop Everyone a bomb on roll. Christian. Everyone got a role, you know? Hey. <laughs> so what's up? All right, so... We did Dream Girl. You're starting to put up more videos. So, mm -hmm. like, what else are you working on right now? So, like, with music wise. Yeah. So I got a a single called Proof. Uh, we're gonna play it on the show. But okay. I got a single coming out. Hopefully within. Hopefully I'll have a date by like the end of this week. Yes. But uh, I want to try to drop it by next week or the week after that. Okay. And then uh, we just got. I want to get a visual together for that. But the song is fire. Like I'm on. I'm kind of secret now. Like I'm on a whole new wave. Of, like music, yeah. everything. Like everything i'm just I'm, I'm not you know i'm better than i was last year you know yes like, so i'm just keep getting better and 
Shit, I'm hyped to drop. I'm so excited for everyone to hear this. Hey, yeah. dropping a bomb on that Hell one yeah. for sure. <laughs> so, Kenneth's secret. I got yeah. questions, and I hope Ask you got away. answers. Yes, I do. How, is, wh- wh- how did we get to the transition? Because last time I asked you this question, I remember in the interview, I was like, KM, what's KM? And you were like, that's yeah. my name. Yeah, literally. And I was like, all right, so we're going with simple acronyms. Uh-huh. So, Kenneth's secret. What's so, up? So, Kenneth's secret. I mean, much. I saw the little the videos of what led up to there. Yeah, yeah. But then so, I'm like, oh, this is his name. Yeah. So, okay. all right. So, pretty much, probably like a, two years ago, maybe. Uh, we I, I dropped a song called Gamblers Anonymous, uh, and I was gonna do I was gonna shoot a video with this kid Sheldon uh, from EP. Okay. My boy, shout out Sheldon. Hey, shout uh, out to Sheldon. So that I was gonna shoot a video with him. Yes. And so he had an idea for the video. Like we we're gonna do it like a whole like. I'm not even going to give up the idea because we might use it again. Okay. But, uh, so whatever, I was going to shoot a video with him, and he ended up getting a pair of underwear, like a thong, but that was, uh, like, customized. I said, I heart KM on oh, it. I was about to say, it's a sucia thong? Nah, is this nah. like a dirty? Yeah, take yeah. this. This is a prop. Nah, yeah, so, so we were going <laughs> to use that as a prop, like, in the video, yeah. like, some funny shit. So it said, I heart KM on it. And uh, I ended up, I, I came across them, like, in my drawer, the, the fucking underwear I'm dead. that we Why never used. Why were you used. looking for that? No, I wasn't. Yo, oh. I was, like, looking for <laughs> Yo, something else, sorry. and I came across them. Yo, hold on. <laughs> Yo, that's fire. Yo. But so whatever, I, I came across them, and I started laughing. I sent the picture to Wally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking, uh, Wally's like, I don't back. want this. <laughs> yeah, he, he sent me back. He was like, what are you, Kenneth Secret? Oh. And so like that was like I was like damn I, I, like right away I was like oh, that's fire like we might end up using that let's okay. keep that okay okay well, with funny, the finders right so you know, listen like, I came up with the name yeah you did, did I came up with the name fucking uh, so instead of Victoria's Secret it was Kenneth's Secret but I was yes. still KM at the time okay um and then whatever this past year been working fucking not nah, just whatever working hard and uh, pretty much. There's a million KMs, I feel like. And you type in Kenneth Secret, I'm the only Kenneth yes. Secret ever, ever. Like, none of you guys got my name. So. And I was going to say that, too, because, like, when we were... Because the thing is, like, when I was going to put your name, because it's going to be, like, Mina Mendoza featuring KM, mm-hmm. I was looking through YouTube, and I was like, there's a lot of KMs yeah, here. Yeah, there's OD KMs. But you're absolutely right with the Kenneth Secret. Mm-hmm. It's like you're monopolizing that name. Exactly. And then the branding is just, bro, like, in the name itself, you know, like, Kind of There's secret. so much shit I, like I could it. do. There's, yeah, like, Kudos to you. you know, I'm coming Kudos up, to you. For I got sure. like this like extra like ego when I rap now, when I sing. Like this is it's dope. Like it's uh, okay. it's like a character. I'm I fuck with Kenneth Secret Heavy. So do you feel like you evolved from KM? Hell yeah, yeah. KM was just it like was a time. phase in the life. Yeah, KM and then I said I'm just That's I, it. I shed the skin, you know. Okay. That bigger. would be pretty dope. You make a song how you evolved from KM yeah, and now yeah. you Kenneth Secret. Oh, Maybe you, it stays that kind of secret, and like mm, I don't know. No, nah, that's gonna. That's it. I'm kind of secret. Okay, on, but, that's it. But you're gonna see it when you when you hear proof. This is my shit. Like okay. this is what I'm on now. Okay, mm. so we got okay, so we got name changes. We got more music. We got mm. more clips on your YouTube channel. So now that like you've been doing music for more time, because I know that you've been doing music for quite some time, but yeah. I feel like I, I feel like more on building your brand. Mm. What do you feel like you have learned? Uh. First off, like you definitely gotta just do it. You can't, you can't like sit around and wait for other people to mm-hmm. to want to push your shit. You know, yeah. like like you gotta do it and show people and make people want want to be a part of it. You know, yes. Um, which I'm lucky enough to have people that want to be a part of what I'm doing and like we're building a really good team. Uh, shit, like to be consistent. Mm-hmm. You know, like now, you know, it's no joke now. Like I'm, I'm not really fucking Kenny, you know, like I'm, I'm trying to stay, get away from being Kenny, you know, like, yeah. that's not me no more, um, shit, being consistent, and then just owning it, like, I feel like you gotta own it, whatever you do, like, let's say I fucking make music, yeah, you know, like, I feel like whatever you wanna do, you should own, and fuck what people think, you know, you gotta be happy, and, Absolutely. you know, I feel like that's, like, all goes with my brand and shit, like, that's what I'm about, I'm about, like, I'm gonna keep it real with you on a song, like, As you but, then, should. but then I'm also fucking be hilarious, like, cause I'm a clown, like, I'm trying, like, I like making people laugh, I like laughing, like, you know, so. Okay, 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 don't mind me right now, I'm still getting adjusted nah, to good, myself. So these are things that you have learned, so, like, what do you feel like are things that you still remain true with yourself, like, things that are just not gonna change? Uh, I feel like definitely my base, like the people that I'm around, um, mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, pretty much, honestly, there's not, there's not. I, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't want to change at all. Like you know, what I mean, I'm obviously gonna grow, but I feel like I'm really in a really good space right now. Okay. 
I'm, I'm really happy disappeared. for you. Oh, yeah. And I just want to give like a um, quick little shout out. Um, I wanted to see like everybody in the check in. So we got people actually communicating with us. Oh, yeah. So shout out to my cousin Mealy. Thank up, you so Mealy? much. Shout out to Mealy out here in the check in. Shout out to Lola Lopez. What's yes. Up, Lola? Shout out to Lola. She in here in the building though. So yeah, just um, the live is definitely going on right now, love. Yeah, I don't know if you have the link, yeah, but we could definitely send it right over. Now. You know, tell people to tap in. But yeah, yeah. we in here, we in here. All right. So we talked about things you kept true, things yeah, you that you like it. have changed within yourself. So let's talk about performances, because I guess mm. now that like COVID, at least a little bit, been a little bit lenient. Yeah. Have you performed? I haven't since last year. I think I, I think I told you I performed last year. Yes, right? you did. Yeah, so I haven't performed since that time. So okay, I'm, I want you, to. What do you feel like is holding you back from that? Uh, I don't want to do like no bullshit. Like I don't want to pay to, you know, like the the showcases are cool and shit, but like I, I'd rather people want to come and see me and. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like fucking egotistical and that's stupid, but... Why? Uh, it's you. No, nah, but it's true. Why wouldn't you come to see me? No, yeah, exactly. Like, you like know what, what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've been to a showcase before. Like, it, it didn't do much for me, you know? And, like, I brought out the biggest crowd and shit. And, like, you know, I, I don't know. It was just, like... No, it didn't do much for me. I don't think me. you I, should I'm, stop, though. No, I'm, I'm open to doing them again, but... Also, it's practice. Like, bro, I, it was fucking nerve-wracking my first time performing. You know, really? like, that shit, was, that shit was a struggle. What do you but, feel like got you the most nervous, though? Like, why? Like, I, do you feel like you were going to be judged? No, no, nah, nah, I definitely didn't have a sound check. Oh. So, like, I just it's went like, here's a microphone. And it was my, yeah, thing. like, literally, here's a microphone. Like, it was Yo, my first fucking time. I'm sad. So, but I wasn't sure I was going to sound. I was definitely up there, like, screaming and shit. <laughs> like, definitely. Just, Dream I don't girl. Know. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm dead. I know that shit was funny. I'm so. dead. I mean, we all start somewhere. Nah, we all start yeah. somewhere. And now, like, my, like, I was confident back then. Like, now it's just like, bro, there's, my confidence is, like, through the roof right as now. As it should. Like, crazy. As it should. As yeah. it should. Okay. So, have you, with the music videos, so let's talk about them. Mm -hmm. How many music videos do you have now? Because I think the, before you only had Dream Girl. Yeah, so... So what have... what? How has Kenneth's secret progressed? Like, what? what's the evidence? All right, so yeah, so we had Dream Girl. I think after that, we dropped VV. VV. And then we dropped VV, which is... I fucking love that video. It's dope as hell. I love the song. Uh, I love Peaches by you. Peaches is the dope. Beat, we never put a video on it. I don't know what it. it is. It makes me think of Super Mario. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell I yeah. don't know why. Every time I listen to that song, I'm like, oh, I like this. Yeah, hell this yeah. This is happy. Yeah. That's my shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was very happy, yeah. Um, but yeah, then we dropped VV, and then Anywhere. Freestyle. Then we did a freestyle at, at Blue 42 in Elmwood Park. Okay. Um, How was that turnout for you? It, it was dope. It was... Uh, we, we did it on, like, the morning before they opened. Like, Giorgio let us in and, oh. and shoot it. So, okay, like, okay. So it wasn't, like, two packs. It was just me, my boy Brandon. Mm -hmm. Were you there? No, I was And the uh, videographer, Eva. Yes. And, yo, um, just real quick, loves, we have more people in the check-in. Shout out to Nadine dropping a bomb on you. What's up, Nadine? And we also got someone here, Jair San Juan. Yeah, that's my boy, Jair. Hey, he made all this shit. shout out to Jair. Oh, wait, wait. Bars. Yo, shout out to the bar. We in here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we got a lot of tire. Yes. Yeah, everyone, Everybody's a unit right now. Yeah, I love there's, it. There's fucking... Coordinated. There's four people in here. We all wearing all bar shit. Yo, let's so, talk about this, though. Yeah, so it's my boy's brand. It's just fire. Okay, does it last? Does it stand for something? Yeah, feel, oh, I thought you were asking. Oh, he's like, last. do you want to feel it? Nah, the material is good as hell. Yeah, nah, but uh, I'm actually not really sure about, about his... Uh, I don't know. I, I know he came up with the 777 shit. What is that? Like a numerology thing? I don't think so. It's lucky. Like, okay. like, and then like his, like he, be, like he, he put the emojis, the, like the 777 emojis on like the slot machine. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really too sure of his story of how he made, came up with bars, but I love the material. I love the clothes. I love the hats. So. I mean, it's definitely dope. I like it. Yeah, definitely it. like it. I was just questioning because I see bars and then I see this little like symbol. Yeah. So I'm like, what does what does it mean? So, maybe you might have to ask him on here one day. Okay. Tell him to step in the check-in yeah. though. Explain yourself. Yeah, yeah, very good. You can explain you can. yourself. <laughs> oh, that, I pressed that by accident. Sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to the buttons, so I apologize. So we talked about okay, music video wise. So we had tussling mm -hmm. before in there. So, how did that come about? Tussling. W why tussling? Why that word? Uh, honestly, I went to, so that day, I found, we found like a fucking, I was, I think I was with you, or we, we were talking that day, and fucking, I found some, uh, 
whatever. I found like some uh, like Afro beat type shit. Uh, okay. Like oh, that was the wave I was on. Like, I, I went through like a whole fucking bro. That's all I was making for like a, a week, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, just music like that, and uh, whatever. So I, I, we took the beat to the studio in the Bronx to my boy Chance and fucking uh, shit. I cooked it there, and okay. and uh, I don't know. But I, I wasn't even gonna call it tussling at first. I think we were gonna call it um. What were we gonna call it? Myself. I think we were gonna call it myself. Okay, and Mr. Then, Egotistical. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then my boy Brandon, who directs all my videos. Yeah. He was like, uh, like he was like, I'll think of a name for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he was like, Yo, Tussling. Like you say, okay. Tussling. Like I like inspired. it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I really that song like started it. off like originally. I was like a five minute song. Okay. It's only like two minutes and twenty seconds now. So you guys cut it short. We cut like there was a whole other. <laughs> there was a whole other two. There was two extra verses on it. Why did you cut it short? Before we dropped it. Uh, maybe it was like a little repetitive, and then uh, well, I want it to be like a single. I want people to be able to spin that shit, you know, mm-hmm. like that. You gotta fucking listen for fucking five minutes to a song, you know. That's not really what's in right now, so. You never know, though. You never know. Because I, I, feel I think like if of it was Bohemian Rhapsody. Rap, how do you say rap? Bohemian Rhapsody. Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah. That no, song hell, yeah. is like what, thirteen minutes? No, no, it's some long ass song. It's, and if it's if it was like an album, if I was like putting together an album. Like, where they have a message and, like, I'm trying to convey, like, you know what I'm saying, like, across this body of work, then, yeah, then, yeah the four-minute song is going to be in there, the, the five-minute songs, three minutes, you know? Mm-hmm. But right now, I, I fuck with making, like, two minutes and 20 seconds, two minutes and 30 seconds, you know? Short like, and sweet. Short and sweet. My yeah. favorite, for some reason, my favorite songs are always, like, the ones that you got to keep playing back because they're only, like, a minute and 30 That's seconds, true. you know? Like, That's those true. be the hottest songs. You're right. You're right. Just fucking play it, you know? We also got a couple more people in the check-in. We got Anastasia Gonzalez. What's up, Anastasia? Is that your people's? Uh, maybe. I, I maybe. can't really see. I'm like, well, Anastasia, thank you for checking in. <laughs> I appreciate you. We also got Is G. Is G in the building? Oh, that's my boy Max, girl. Yeah. No, my boy is G, okay. too. Okay, Cash Studios in the building. Yes, sir. Okay, dropping my a bomb G, on that up? one. Definitely, everybody who's in the check-in, um, definitely remember to subscribe to the podcast. This is actually the first time I ever go live from my YouTube channel. There's a lot of firsts for me right now, so, like, Let's get it. I'm just, I'm yes, happy as hell on the first part. one. I'm dropping a bomb on myself. Hell yeah. Just say it. I feel Coming excited. Up. Oh, awesome I drink mean, chance. I think I got an applause here. And, yeah. and I got an L. Hold on. I'm learning these yeah, buttons the as we go. Tough. That's the laugh. And, yeah. and I got this one. Need that. <laughs> what? Okay. I'll fuck with it. Oh, hold on. How about this one? Oh, wait. I got to press buttons. I'm still gonna use it. Hold on. You play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. I fuck with that. Right? Let's yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, all new things, all new things. So, we talked about tussling. So, what's up with the video? How'd you get Emmy in the video? Work. First of all, shout out to Emmy Mercado. Yeah, shout out to Emmy Mercado. Yes, Capricorn Fire. sister. You killed Love that you, shit. girl. That ass, you killed that shit. Um, How did that come so, about? You reached out to her. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I followed her off of, off of your podcast. Mm hmm. I'm like 90% positive. That's what happened. I followed her off your podcast. Yeah. And then uh, whatever, so love she followed back and shit. I guess like she seen I'm fucking trying to do something. Um, and then whatever I I be peeping whatever she be dancing she yeah. be acting she kills it. She does it, it all. Like, She's yeah. like a jack of all trades. You know, so whatever, uh, whatever we made tussling and then my, the guy who be directing my videos, my boy Brandon, uh, whatever, because we we wanna. We, we try to do different shit with the music videos, you know? Like, we don't want to, like, sexualize women all the time. Like, that's, Beautiful. like, what everyone does and shit, so. Yeah, don't do that. That's not, that's not yeah, fun. Like, that's not so cute. Like, I like, don't like that. We, Sorry. We and no, I get you, angry with hell that. Hell yeah, like, like yeah. We, we didn't throw a girl up there twerking for three minutes, you know Yo, what I'm saying? Like, he's like, listen, all you got to do is like, move your yeah. cheeks left and right. That's it. Don't even talk. That don't ass, even so talk. We fucking threw, we had Emmy pull up and literally... What she did was art. Like yes. what she made was art. It was yes. fire. What she did, and mm-hmm. I feel like that's like uh, that should make other girls feel good about themselves Absolutely. too. Like that shit's, you know, like that Absolutely. shit's fire. You know. I mean, anybody who um is watching right now, we actually had the tussling video playing in the beginning, and you could actually see Emmy Mercado actually dance. So like, you know, like Kenneth is saying, like the way she dances is actually aesthetically very beautiful. She's not like, you know, kudos to everybody that can shake your ass because it, oh, that yeah. is beautiful nothing too. Wrong, nothing wrong with shaking that, ass. Nothing wrong with little cupcake. <laughs> nothing wrong with little cheeks. Shake that ass. But 
the way she danced and she would like put her foot in the air. She's out here like yeah, it's she, like almost like she can dance in heels. Spiritual. So. It's like I don't know. Like I, mm. I think it's Squidward. Like I'm just like I don't know. Like she just does some cool shit. Well, she, she did the whole video in heels. That's a good dancer. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Can you dance in heels? Hell no. I can barely <laughs> dance. But I can't even dance by chata. I'll be learning. Like, Are you serious? I, I could like I could get a, get a, like away with it. What but, about yeah, merengue? Hell no. That's a two step. I do. I, I, I put my back Yo, on the let's wall. Let's see. Let's see. That. I'm curious. How does Kevin's secret damn merengue? Give us a preview. Yo, I can't. Just I, don't I can pull do the bachata. Wire. That's it. I can only do bachata. I know it's one, two. One, okay, two. okay, okay. Yeah, like, see, I got right. a little bit. So by this summer, you gotta learn how to dance bachata. Oh hell yeah! If you're I'm about to have my Kenneth boy teach secret? me. I'm about to have my Kenneth boy teach secret me. Kenneth's secret gotta be suave mente. Dead ass, no. Gotta be papi shampoo. Dead ass, Slip. dead ass. Nah, that's facts. Way. I, my one boy be fucking. Uh, Bro, we go out and, and he'll dance like literally mm-hmm. dance by child the whole like the whole time. But let me tell you, guys who dance, those guys that dance, that's what get I was about all to get the girls to. in the club. That was what, just what I was about all to get the to. Girls like, in the club. bro, you could dance with any girl, like because it's not even like you're trying to bag. It's just like we At dancing, all. like you know. Od, like you go to a salsa club. Mm. Oh my god, official. Word. Official, official. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to have. I'm, he about we about to open up the garage and he about to run a class for all of us. I mean that would go be crazy. Dope. I think that's great. And then we pulling up with our dancing shoes everywhere What's we go. What's dancing like, shoes? I don't know. I was What's just, that I was just fucking like? around. I don't What's know. Like, the, like? Well, probably like, like white leather boots. We all pulling our white leather okay. boots. Okay, like, I like up, that. Boom. Yeah. Okay, you look ready. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. You're I'm ready. dying. I'm dying to get out there. I just gotta practice. Okay, practice yeah. makes perfect. Practice <laughs> makes perfect. <laughs> So I'm, um, you know, shout out to you guys. The video is definitely great. I love that video, it's Thank Leslin. You. Thank you. Um, any ideas of what you're gonna have now? So now that you experience that type of style, anything different that you would like to do in a music video? Um, I kind of want to wall out and have like a hundred girls shaking ass in a video too. Okay, the other but, side. Yeah, the exactly. Other side. So like, we yeah. can be artistically yeah, respectful, but let's let's also be raunchy. Yeah, fuck it. Like, okay, so I, just I like do that ass. too eventually. Yeah, so just, just one video, just, just your ass. face and just ass. And just ass everywhere. Let's Yo, put somebody me in a collage farts. Ass. You're in trouble. Yo, I'm, I'll be fucked. <laughs> He's gotta rap happen? through it. I'll be rapping through it. Just like, yeah, facts. It's talking. He's like, yo, you saw his eye go like this? That was real. <laughs> that was the part. That was real. <laughs> Method acting. Okay, so you want a whole room of ass just shaking. No, I don't know exactly. I think but that would be dope. That would be dope. That would be dope. But yeah. I feel like you gotta make it work. Like, yeah. I, so I wanna do that. Like, you gotta wake up, open your eyes. <laughs> close to the shower. <laughs> yeah, it's ass everywhere. Everywhere. Goes yeah, up into the it. fridge. <laughs> Two of them. It's just like that's what I'm thinking. I'm like all these ideas, or you could turn into a cartoon. That'd be dope too. Like just make but you gotta everyone... find like a, a real good artist. I feel like or Fiverr. Fiverr. No, I'm saying Fiverr. Oh, that website. I feel like I've been. I think I need like, my what? feet like... wet with Fiverr, and I feel like you can find anything there. Anything. So I'm pretty sure you just Word. shoot the music video, have the girls just shake their ass and be like, can you turn this into a cartoon? Everybody, including myself. Cartoon ass. Everybody. Uh, what's that? What's the uh, the anime porn called? What's it called? What's that shit called? You know what I'm talking about. Wait, ass and it? titties. Ass, hentai. ass. Nah, oh, I was thinking hentai. of that. Oh, hentai. Nah, we're, hentai. We're, we're okay, okay, okay. We're make some hentai. I Ke- mean, kind of secret hentai. That was That's going to be an NFT. That was the way for a little bit. Because if you think yep. about Megan Thee Stallion, I feel like what made her different is that she started putting more of the like the anime porn sounds in Word. her music. Like if you listen to the backgrounds of her music, that's what it was. Like uh, I remember I heard it. It's like I'm not gonna replicate the sound, <laughs> but like I was like, yo, that is nah, definitely people, porn. Yeah, well, I mean, but she was smart. Hell yeah, she nah, was she smart. She's definitely smart. Definitely, I agree. And her knees are strong. Just saying. Her knees are strong as Just shit. Just saying. Yo, we got Giancarlo Passos. My boy Giancarlo. Oh, I remember there's the the uh, the the ape. What was the, the ape that we talked about in the last episode? Something ape. You guys came out with a gorilla. This nah. thing, the symbol. <laughs> What is oh, that? the elephant. 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 I'm like, the elephant. I'm like, it looks, it's great. I'm like, I don't know. So what, what was that elephant again? It's like a uh, elephant. Thank you, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the, I think it's the biggest, I think like biggest mammal or something like that. I forget what it was. Fuck. I just remember. We talked but, about it in my podcast. But I know like, like elephant. elephant. Like, bro, I grew up, like my mom had elephants all around the crib. Fucking uh, elephant. This is like, it was a beast. It's a big ass animal. They were smart as fuck. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So. And you also, you're an uh, uncle, uncle now. Yo, Your uncle, sister uncle. had twins. My sister had twins. My stepbrother had a baby this year. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it's crazy. You're going to be broke during Christmas. Bro. All that. It's going to be crazy. But you're going to be, the, are you the fun uncle? I'm the, I'm the single uncle. The Who's one that, that mean? 
<laughs> I'm gonna be single for a while. I think, well, he's you know? like, you don't want no, you don't want kids. No, I want Not kids. Right now. Yeah, give me like 15 years, 10 years. Okay, okay. Yeah. But that's like, that's dope. I think that's like really nice that like you know you have that family orientation yeah. party. So when I saw Lauren, I was like, oh, she's having twins. Yeah, I was like, damn. Bro, but she's, she looks, you know, shout out to her because yeah. like I see how she's doing. I'm like, yeah, she looks pretty well. Yeah, hell yeah. Because I would be with no hair. Hell. She she had like. Bro, I don't know how she did it. And then even now. Like, and like, she, your sister's tiny. Yeah, no. And she's then, tinier than me. I think she's, what, 4'11"? Nah, she's probably maybe a five, five, five feet. Two. She's like five feet, maybe. Yeah, she's short. Okay, maybe five feet. Maybe she's five short, feet but it's sure. crazy. Like, now, like, she's, she goes to get out of her truck with two big-ass fucking... It's like, hold on, let me get my equipment. Yeah, <laughs> these two big-ass <laughs> babies like, in, in the... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I remember one time I, like, I helped her. I, I picked one up. That shit's I heavy as hell. Up. Heavy yeah, as hell. But like, you get used to it. Yeah, shout out to her. She's fucking. Drop a bomb on Yeah. Her. Shout out to women. Women are fucking crazy for that. Crazy? Or we yeah. got no choice? No, we you, got guys got, you, guys got, you guys got no <laughs> like, choice. Yo. Like, that's what I'm saying. I you mean, guys are genius. The daddy, too. The daddy, too. Because daddies do step up. Yeah, you know? yeah, I feel yeah, like it's. Yeah. I feel like if you're going to have a child, it's a responsibility. Nah, for sure. You know? For sure. We got Stephanie Apostles in the check in. What's up, Steph? Yes, we got Nico and Sal. They're in the check in. Yes, I'm loving like, up, all the up? love and support. Nico, Sal. Guys. Loving this, loving this. So, okay, so you did. So you want to perform again? Yeah, I do. Okay. I definitely do. So if you could think of a concert that you would always want to be involved in, like say right now, if if you had an opportunity to be in a concert. I got an answer for you. Coachella. Nah, nah, oh. you know what's funny? I was like, I better hope you say it's that. Just because it's mad fresh in my mind. What's I said up? he dropped the, uh, like he dropped the whatever, like whoever's playing there. He, he put out the list, uh, fucking the Dreamville, the, the Dreamville Fest. Okay. The J. Cole one. Any reason why? Cole's my favorite rapper. Okay. Uh, shit, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that dude's just like the realist. I don't know. Okay. I would fuck with the conversation for sure. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. And if you were to like come on stage, because remember, like once you're performing on stage, would you be up there alone? Do you have a hype man? No, nah, I'm, I'm. It's kind of secret I, I, by I have, himself. I have ideas for, for a hype man. In the man. dark with a spotlight. I have ideas for a hype man. Like I got a few people that I want to reach out to. Okay. I was but like, you can't go on there, stage. Yeah. By, well, you could go on stage by yourself. Yeah, But like, yeah, it's always yeah. good to like. No, definitely. There's a there's a couple people I want to reach out to. Okay. That for sure, but like, it's not. We don't have any performances yet, so. Yeah. It's not locked in, but definitely, like, there's there's two people that I know. That, that's what I'm hit up. So. The last time I asked you, I was like, are you a pen and paper type of person or are you like straight off the dome? What do you consider yourself now? Uh, I still I still write a lot, mm-hmm. but um, I'm starting to like just going to the studio with nothing and just getting on beats like organically. Yeah, it's sort of like freestyling and going punching in bar for bar type okay. shit. I, I'm, I'm starting to really fuck with that, actually. OK, so I know we have a couple of tr- your tracks here. Mm hmm. I kind of want to let like the people kind of hear them a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want yeah. I want that I want that energy in here. Let's do um, that. So let's go. All I right. have here a thousand. I got here. We got a couple of your joints. I got I tried. I got something special. Mm. Proof. Let's uh. Let's start it off with proof. Proof. proof yeah. That's the... right, so before we even start off with that song, tell me a little bit about it. All right. So uh, we uh, I ended up linking. My my boy from South Jersey, mm-hmm. uh, Ian. I love Ian. His name is. Uh, okay. We found him through like Instagram. We ended up linking up. Uh, he invited us to a studio down there, so we went to his studio. Um, and he like mixes, masters, does all that. Uh, and whatever I had the beat. It's funny. I wasn't even gonna record this song. I think it was like the third song I did there. And uh, why were you not gonna record it? Cause though? like. I don't know when I when I was like performing it to myself. I don't know. I was like, yeah, this shit could be cool. Like. It might be all right. And then, like, bro, I heard myself, whatever, I was doubting it. And then I did it. I performed it on, in the booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, bro, I heard the way it sounded. I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is the best. This is this. nice. Like, at the time, I was like, oh, this is the best song I've ever made. You know? Like, okay. Yeah. Love that. Hell yeah. Okay. So we're going to definitely let this song rock. All right. So we're rocking with Proof right now, right? Yes, sir. Kind of secret Proof that's coming out probably, like, next week or maybe two weeks. I don't know. Hey. Whenever the label lets me drop it, nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm like, what, what does that mean? I'm fucking with you. What does that mean? <laughs> all right, we're definitely dropping a bomb on that one. It's all right, we're gonna rock out with proof. All right, let's go ahead and play this song right here. So, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I'm learning. All right, proof. You guys want to see something cool? I learned. Oh 
and shit. Damn, you about to be like flex. Run it back and drop a bomb. Run it back and drop a bomb. Hold on. Wait, I got a damn. You threw me off. You threw me off. All right, we're going to let this off. Hold on. Something else I learned. Hold up. So we got kind of secret. Kind of secret. Proof. We got the filter button going on. We're going to let this shit rock for you guys, all right? Stay tuned. Still stay in the podcast. Let this song rock out, though. Pete the song. Check it out. Hey. You clenching on the seas till you finish in. Then I go down and knee. Girl, I don't need a breeze. Have you coming after me and coming back to me? And I won't sell you dreams. I tell you things I mean. Like how I never see myself with a wedding ring. And I won't sell you dreams. I tell you things I mean. I tell the next girl all the things that you would say to me. We can do it when you want to. You a freak. I call back. We can turn out to the summer, then I'm spending all that. You say you love me any proof. You say you love me any proof. We can do it when you wanna, you a freak. I call back. We can turn out to the summer, then I'm spending all that. You say you love me any proof. You say you love me any proof. She rather fight than chill. I fuck you right out. When I be cracking jokes, I told the waitress, split the bill. That shit might get me killed, but you know how I feel. I be staying up for hours trying to make you mad. All of my bitches got asses, all of my bitches do lashes. I put a bet for the racks, all of my girls hope it cashes. I lay the blunt on pass it. I'm at the venue relaxing, come in the front and they bring me the back end. I'm about to check in the Nike, my fashion, and the women, my passion. Women, my passion. Hey, I just left the MIA, met a bad bitch from day. She just want to smoke, then she want to fuck all day. Gotta go, girl, I got to get paid living like a mobster trying to get made get it from the dirt it's the garden state aim it at his feet make him haul him shake better pump them brakes if you're feeling brave bitch we can do it when you wanna you a freak i call back we can turn out to the summer and i'm spending all that you say you love me i need proof you say you love me i need proof we can do it when you wanna you a freak i call back we can turn out to the summer and
the dudes just wanna sex you I'm tryna dive deep in your mental Then we can talk about sex, love, R&B How you move if you was me Tell it like it is, but you just been free Your conversation like drugs Then we can talk about sex, love, R&B How you move if you was me Tell it like it is, but you just been free It's your girl Mina Mendoza, little girl, big personality, out here trying to make your knee sweat. Queen of motherfucking spice. Yo, we had back to back kind of secret songs. We had a little bit of something special, and then we also had proof. How you feeling? I feel good. Those are my tracks right there. I love hey, those songs. Definitely an applause on that one. <laughs> So, yeah, we were, like, you know, definitely building report here. We got tracks. A lot of positive feedback in the check-in. We got everybody dropping bombs. Shout out to J.R. Blunt, 136. Okay. Shout out J.R. Blunt. We in here. We in here. There are a lot of positive feedback. Um, Track is fire. You're putting on Jersey. Oh, shout okay, out Okay, got a secret. Yes, <laughs> in here. All right. So, let's talk a little bit more about your journey and, like, what you're doing for yourself. Right. So, I believe you mentioned before that you just got back from Miami. Yeah. What'd you do in Miami? Uh, yeah, so I got, I guess, just got back. I got back, like, end of January. Mm-hmm. Um, Michelle, I went down to Miami to, uh, it's funny, bro, like, I feel like I get more love in Miami, like, from, like, artists in Miami and shit than, like, artists up here, kind of. Why do you like, feel that? Bro, because my boy down in Miami, the first time I met him, I met him in my first trip, my boy Smiles. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Smiles. Shout out to Smiles official. Uh, he, he got a song with Tori out right now. That's fire as fuck. Uh, but the first time I went down there, like, bro, right away, like, we dapped up, like, talked. It was just chopped, like love bro, right away. Chopped, we were at, like, some sushi spot, just chopped it up. Okay. Exchanged numbers. Got each other's Instagram. And whatever, we've been talking, been cool ever since then. And then I, I went back this time. And uh, I just made a, I made a few songs with him. And okay. uh, shit, one of them's coming out. I got a, it's called A Thousand. I'm, I'm going to be dropping that soon, too. Yes, we're going to definitely play that. Yeah. I I, that. Actually, I, the one you got isn't even, doesn't even have his verse on it. Ooh, yeah. so we can't play it? No, nah, you can play it. Okay. The, the, the one you got has, I have two verses on it. Okay, instead okay, of, okay. Yeah, so. No worries. Um, but yeah, so I, I go down there. I, my, my boy Smile shows me mad love. The people he's around show love. Like, we were in the, we were in the studio. Mm-hmm. We just recorded. He went and made a phone call, called his videographer, like, bro, like, uh, he's here, like, let's just shoot, let's you get a video You need to come here right now. Yeah, bro, right his, now. Bro, his video- Magic is happening. Bro, his videographer pulled right up. Okay. We shot, we shot the video, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Um, shit, bro, he's the man. Yo, shout out to Smile, shout out to, bro, over there, it's like a work environment. Shout you know, out like, to support. Hell, shout like, out to that's support. that's the main port. Bro, like, main, more port. Like, the, like, main part. Hell, yeah, like, that's the know? difference with, like, up here and shit, like, yeah. everyone got, got wants to work, like, we gotta go to work, we gotta mm-hmm. go to work, like, like, people that kind of put their, their dreams in the backseat type shit. Yeah. And down there, it's like, bro, we, we went from that studio session to he's like yo you want to pull up with me uh, to a sniper gang studio session mm-hmm. he's got people are just working you know what I'm saying like so you go from one studio to another to another like people Movements. are people are out here Hustling. working bro you know like I, I, out here I fucking obviously like I'm not on yet but I, yeah. I'll be in the studio three four hours whatever come out and it's like oh we going home or we going out we getting drunk like yeah. instead of like bro like people aren't always working you know what I'm saying like yeah. down there is a fucking work environment like mm-hmm. granted we're right by new york so there's no excuse but down there is that ass a work environment i fuck with it like the energy all that so okay it's dope i love that mm-hmm. you know what's crazy i feel like florida itself i hear so much positive like like just in general like in vibes about yeah, florida yeah. with artists like mm-hmm. i don't know what it is i know that artists like to gravitate to that area not mm-hmm. only is the location beautiful yeah. but like i always hear good things about artists going to florida like yeah, i always feel yeah. like people come back with collaborations some networking mm-hmm. gigs Bro, that's music like, beats it's like people are very open yeah that, that's the reason why we went there and then they find out you're from you're from up north you're from jersey or yeah. new york like they're interested like they're very accepting yeah like welcoming the, the, yeah they are like they're interested like yeah they want to know what's going on up here like what's okay. hot up here and Shit, yeah, it's fucking, it's dope. Miami's dope. I'm, I'm sure Tampa's dope. I'm sure all those other spots are dope. I think you should go to a different country, like a country. 
Yo, you know, it's funny. I'm on there. Right. Like, go to like, I don't know. What, what would be the go to Amsterdam? Yo, I fuck with Amsterdam. But what's funny right now? I, I fuck with mad European rap right now. Like, I've Yo, been bumping. Yo, European rap is fire. Bro, Paris like, rap, their beats are crazy. I don't know what they be saying, <laughs> but their beats are dope. The word up. But I've been fucking with like, uh, Yo, know, the London dudes are crack. Oh, those okay. are my guys. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. But that, that's been my shit right now. I'll be playing it. They'll be like, yo, what are you playing? And I'm like, yeah. bro, it's like, listen to what he's saying. Like, he's fire. Yeah, like, bugging out. It just sounds good. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. I agree. Like, I, I, I got into, like, European rap myself. Um, I got into a lot of Polish rap. I'm like, yo, they sound crazy, but that beat is fire. <laughs> the, the flow, I don't know what they're saying, but it just sound mad good. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the only thing, though, I feel like when I do hear French rap, yo, don't come for me, <laughs> France. I feel like in general, when French people speak, it sounds like Ooh. they're drowning. Okay, that wasn't that think bad. About, no, think about it. Uh, 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 what's that famous word? I don't know. Shit. Uh, what, I know what's like, the word in French? Uh, what is it? Like, uh, um, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. Or, um, au revoir. Of what? Like, what? what? Like, yeah, you're drowning, dog. I don't know. Like, think about it. Next time you hear, like, a French person speaking, it sounds like they're drowning. Like, it's, uh, 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 uh. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I can't take it serious. I can't. The people say it sounds so sexy. I'm like, no. I think Italian sounds sexy. When they speak it? That's like that's yeah. like Spanish almost. Almost, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think Italian sounds sexy. I feel like um, Russian sounds like they're going to kill you. <laughs> Russia just sounds angry. Yeah. They like sound like just angry, like like just Look, anger. Uh, I, I feel like they do like, those guys are just tough, I feel like. Yeah, like they, like, I like mean, look boys. what they've been through. But you know what? I don't yeah. even want to talk about that because I feel like if I yeah. mention that country, I'll be bleeped out. Like, yeah, I don't know. Touchy. I feel like it's sensitive right touchy, now. Sensitive, sensitive right now. Yeah. So don't come for me. Nah, don't yeah. come for me at all. Yeah. So, all right. So we got ideas to go into a different country. I think that would be dope for you. Even go to a South American country. Word You're white. Up. Yeah. I'm just saying. You, yeah. what? I don't think I've ever been to South America. That's an idea. Yeah, go to been. South America. Go to Puerto I, I, Rico. I be getting mad love in Brazil, low key. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, go out there. Like my, my streaming numbers from Brazil are pretty good. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Have you ever tried to like? I feel like even reaching out to people out there. Uh, some I'm, I'm actually I've talked to a few people from Brazil. Okay. Uh, this producer hit me up. He's I'm, he's popping. Like he got. Uh, like his Spotify is jumping. He got tracks mm-hmm. out the ass, kind of. Yeah. And uh, I'm just waiting on him to send me a pack. He says he's going to send me a B pack. Okay. So That's dope. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. So we talked about just in general, like what you would like to do with music videos in general like that. So let's talk about just writing music now. You said mm-hmm. that you like to go to the studio just completely blank. Yeah. I, I re- recently I've been starting like that, but I also write, though. I write a lot. Okay. What yeah. do you feel like inspires you to write? What makes you want to just, like, um, write something down? I, I love, like, writing from, like, a dark place. Like, uh, like just, like, a place of, like, hurt and, like, uh, shit, I don't know. It's, Do you I, feel like you need a specific setting for you to write? Like, just be by yourself? Yeah, I like to be by myself with a blunt. Okay. Music, either music playing in my car, writing, or in my bed, mm-hmm. writing, music playing off my TV. Like, okay. Uh... Definitely by myself if I'm writing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there ever like some songs out there that you try to write and it's like, nah, this is hell garbage. yeah, bro. There's a bunch of them. Really? Yeah. What like, makes you even songs think I record, that it's garbage like, though? Uh, shit, I just or don't like it. Or maybe not even garbage. Maybe just not it's the not, best. Yeah, it's not like the. It doesn't reach what we're going for. Mm-hmm. You know, like pretty much like I, there's a bunch of songs. Like, I've made so much music. Uh, there's a lot of that shit that's just like I don't think is good, you know, like that okay. people will never hear. Yeah. But it's like just because the only reason is like it might, it might be good for someone else, but like we're trying to hit this bar now. Like now it's just ev- everything we've been doing. Like we're trying to go here and now here. Like we we drop Dream Girl, we drop VV, we drop anywhere, we drop uh, freestyle, fucking, you know, ev- everything. Everything we do, we just gotta do better and better, get bigger and shit, you know. Okay. So, love yeah. it. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. So. Now that you're, like, establishing yourself even more, and congrats to that, because I said, like, I spoke to you, what, like, last year. And just hearing, like, Mm -hmm. all this, like, I guess, credentials that you're building for yourself. Yeah, exactly. How do you feel about your team now? Like, do you feel like you're still rocking with the same people? Do you have some new people that you're rocking with? Maybe some shout-outs you want to give out? Yeah, yeah. Shout-out to the same people. We got Wally in here, Max in here, my my boy Payman in here. Uh, Pretty much, like, the same people, but... I swear to God, the door is always open. Like, 
that, like, bro, we're, we're building here. Like, anyone who could contribute anything, who wants to contribute anything, if they can contribute whatever, just, yo, I'll drive for you guys or I'll, I'll hold the camera, uh, whatever. If, if you have no, like, actual skills, like, mm-hmm. bro, little shit goes a long way. Um, the door's always open. I feel like new people are better than the people that have been around, honestly. Really? Hell yeah. Like, obviously, like, not my people here. Like, you, you got to have, like, a certain relationship. But yeah. <clears throat> I feel like uh, with people, like, around you, you run into, like, jealousy, and which is, like, weird shit. Like, like even, even me, like, I, I've dealt That's with that. That's not like, nice. No, yeah, and, and, like, I've dealt with it, like, and I'm not even anywhere near popping, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, like, I've dealt with, you know, like, people throwing Why jabs. Why like, yeah, like, like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? People want to want to throw a joke. Like, bro, That's like, not funny. No, but, but, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's every truth behind those little jabs you throwing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I people be, like, so. sarcastic, sarcastic, oh, yeah, like, I'm like, is weirdos. that your pain talking? Yeah, Because nah. I feel, like, low-key, but, it's funny, but it's, like. You know, there's people just not comfortable with themselves. That could be true. Yeah, that could be true. People so, are fucking weird. So let's talk about your production team. You know, yeah. what? what is this called? Uh, it's Elevated Music Group. Okay. Uh, we started it last year. Uh, Wally's the owner. Hey, shout out to Wally. Wally opened the LLC, all that. Um, I'm technically the CEO. Okay. Uh, I guess we're both CEOs. CEOs. You know, we're both bosses. Okay. Uh, but shit, yeah, we got a, we're working with, my boy Max, an artist actually right here. Max fucking the most talented person in our whole group. Like, my boy got a way better voice than me. Everything that like he sings better, bro. He flow, he's my boy is nice. And uh, Max, you be making music, right? Mac, Mac, Mac. Yeah, Mac, Mac. XL, Mac XL, Mac XL. Okay. Uh, you know, my my boy Mac, Mac is fucking talented as fuck, and okay, he's about to start dropping. Yes. Uh, you know, and then I got my boy Eli. He normally he be doing a lot of like engineering for me, but he's an mm-hmm. artist, and we got songs together that are crack. Every time I got on a song with Eli, it's guaranteed fire. Like he was on the the mood shit. Okay. He was on the song X's. Yes. Um, and then we got another joint coming out. Uh, I don't even know what it's called yet, but Eli be killing shit. Uh, I got here a song, an old school song from you. I think it's called Game Boy. Game Boy. Yes, I got that here if you want to let that rock a little bit yeah, later. Yeah, hell I got yeah. so I got basically your old tracks here that you sent me from before. No, we're not, that's fine, I'm like, yeah. wait a second. I think this is you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is you. Yeah, man. And uh, Shit, we, we be going around, like, fucking with engineers and shit. Uh, mm-hmm. But there's a lot of engineers I fuck with. Like, my boy Ian is nice. Uh, my boy Chance, that's my guy, always showing love. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tripped. Yeah, Tripped. And me and Tripped actually got a song together that's fucking fire as fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm, we tried sending it to you. I don't know if you got it. Um, my boy Tripped is nice as hell. Um, okay. Shit. And, uh, we all I'm gotta bring y'all down anyone. here, like as a group, together Word. next time. Like maybe just like you know, yeah, bring you. you. They all need to link up too. I want all of them to yeah, link up. Yeah, like that'd shit. be super like, dope. Like yeah. we could even like maybe even like do a little freestyle acapella Word. type shit. That should be oh, dope yeah. as well. Yeah, I'll be all with right. it. We're I'll gonna keep that plan. We're gonna keep that plan for sure. Mm-hmm. So, you know, shout out to your production thing. I think it's great that you have a group that supports you. Mm-hmm. Um, even if new people are coming in, it's all about the support. And one thing about support is that it's free. Yeah. Um, so that is good. It's good to have, like, oh, a great team. And my, since we're talking about that, too, shout out my boy Shice. Uh, okay, Shice. Shice fucking, bro, Shice another one. Like, he's he got a following, you know. Like, mm-hmm. he's popping. He got songs with Jada Kiss. Like, he's out here. He got he got tracks, and he be showing me mad love. Yes. So another person just, like, there ain't no ego. You know? Like, we all on the same mission. He's showing love. I don't know. I fuck with that. Okay. You know? I was just got to shout out my boy Smiles, too. I want to shout out Shice. Hey, all the shout outs. Yeah. All the shout outs. All the love. Everybody gets love. Everybody gets love. You get a car. You get a car. Everybody gets a car. That ass. All right. So, you know, now that you also, like, you know, gave a shout out to your team and everything like that, just in general, love, give your Instagram handle where people can uh, yeah. find you. I think. All right, so it's, it's kind of secret on all platforms. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's what it's going to be like on the video, but just in general, yeah, for anybody that's watching so right now. Instagram is Kenneth, K-E-N-N-E-T-H, mm-hmm. period, secret. So Kenneth.secret. Uh, yeah, that's Instagram, and I think Twitter is Kenneth underscore secret. Okay. Uh, TikTok. Let's TikTok, see. I think YouTube. TikTok is still KM from Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. All of that. 
Yeah, Gotta YouTube give it is Kenneth Secret. Kenneth Secret. You can, you can find me, Kenneth Secret, on everything. Uh, Kenneth Dot Secret, Instagram, Twitter, Kenneth underscore Secret, okay. YouTube, Kenneth Speaks, Kenneth Secret, regular. In here. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, yes. And um, anything like other shout outs? Because we're also going to get into like the spicy hour in a bit. We're going to mm -hmm. rock out with your song. You throw a thousand. Yeah, let's put a thousand. We could rock out to a thousand before we get into the spicy hour. But any other shout outs you want to give, love? Anything um, else? Forget something. Anybody, mom, um, somebody. Yeah, I mean, shout out my sister. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think I shouted out a lot of people. You did. Right? You definitely did. You shouted yeah. out everybody. Yeah. All right, love. So we're gonna rock out to this song real quick. Um, a thousand. You want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah. So a thousand. I made this shit in 19 minutes. With my boy Trip. Okay, you have these songs. And you're like, I made it in three minutes. Yeah. I made it in 19. Yeah, I, did this. I actually made a TikTok for this shit. Uh, okay. I literally made it in 19 minutes. Okay. Uh, I might have cheated a little bit, but it was 19 minutes exactly. Okay. Uh, What's it about? Shit, keep it a thousand, yo. Like, you, you guys will hear the words and shit, but pretty much like, yeah, I'm just talking shit, I'm talking shit to like an ex or a former, a Ooh. former partner. Okay. But then I also, you know. I picked them up, too, I think. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Let's see what the audience thinks, okay? We're going to go yes, ahead and sir. rock out with this song right here, and we're going to go ahead and let this play. Mm. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I'm still learning. Give me one second. Hold on. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry for technical difficulties. I'm learning. Next time we'll be better. All right, we're going to rock out to this.
just a little They be trying too hard, I be keeping it simple Plus you keep it so real when you shake it a jiggle I be breathing in your ear, catch your neck to the tickle You know I miss to spread them out, put my face in the middle Tell your exes, cut it out, and boys fruity like Skittles I be keeping it polite, but I get dark with the quickness I kill the pussy, then I'm killing the witness Let's keep it a thousand all right, but hey, we ran that shit back. We yeah. ran it back. We had some technical difficulties. Yeah, got the T pain. I was like T pain in there. Yo, hold on, hold on. But is it right now? I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. Try to make sure I Let's understand see. my buttons, though. Let's keep it a thousand. Nah, slow down. It's still so slow down. Yeah. Wow. Nah, it's all good though. Let's chop it up. We'll figure it out later. Alright. I'd rather them hear it the right way. No, don't even let it rock. Alright. Yeah. We're live. Alright. So, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like pause this real quick. If anything, we'll let it rock again. So, let me just go ahead and run it back. <laughs> So sorry about nah, that, it's Kenneth. Good. It's so all sorry. Good. So sorry. So we'll go into it. You know, we'll yeah. definitely play the song again. I do mm. apologize it for like sounding like that. Yeah, it's all good. So let's get into this spicy hour, though. Let's get into the spicy hour. I see we got Amanda in the check-in. What's and up, Amanda? Santa Santa Squad. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we in here. So it's unfiltered. We could talk about anything. 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 So, all right, one of the first topics that I did have, um, I came up with just, like, random ones and stuff like that. So how would you feel, right? And this is just, like, in general. So, like, wh- what would you do if your ex dropped, if your ex was the Uber Eats? Was, was my Uber was Eats Was it Uber Eats? Nah, see, I, I did good women, all right? All right, guys, I did good women. What does that mean? She wouldn't do anything to my food, I promise you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what if she was your Uber driver? My None of my exes could drive, so I'd be scared as fuck in the backseat. <laughs> oh, <Zeb. laughs> none of them could drive, literally. You mad funny. They all know they can't drive, too. <laughs> okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Nah, yeah, but I'm not getting in the car. Okay, so you can tell me you never had a toxic ex? Hell yeah. Okay. But like, so, do you think... They will not do anything to your food. Oh, no, her. That one is crazy. That's what I say. She's like, oh, nah, yeah, Kenneth's Secret ordered Shake Shack? Nah, bro. The, with shake sauce? That one. I got you. The, the one I'm talking about is like, oh, well, if she was my Uber driver, like, she'll probably think it was, like, romantic to, like, swerve off the road and kill us both. Like, you know? Wow. She's crazy, bro. Wow. And then, and then uh, yeah, if she's my Uber East driver, she's trying to figure out a way to get into my house. Oh, my God. 100%. But, like. But like, but like, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to rekindle. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, if it's the one I'm, I'm talking about. Would now. you tip her? But what, what you tip? Yeah, you because tip like, before. let me tell you something. So it's about Uber Eats. Uber Eats is a freaking robbery, bro. OD, robbery. OD. It'd be like, yo, and I'd be mad excited. That should be like delivery fee free. Mm-hmm. That the fees is like ten dollars. Twenty. It'd be like twenty dollars. For That's what? Crazy. For this and then, like five minutes and then you're like, all right, that's tip included. And then, yo, boom, that comes up, tip. Yo, like fact. 20%. Like. And then it's just like, yo, but that shit is a robbery. Because sometimes it'd be like 49 cents delivery. And that's mm. what intrigues me. You know, I'm not a cheap bitch. But it's like, yo, 49 cents? <laughs> I got it. And then you see, no, it's like $70. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, crazy. how? Crazy. And you want to order how? one like one entree from somewhere. Yo, you know what's the worst, though? When they say they're on a bike. Oh my God! You, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, talking, talking about, right? About. Yeah, yeah. Yo, tell me anybody in the check-in <laughs> have they ever had like an Uber out? Oh, my head is too small. <laughs> it's too small. I'm getting adjusted. I'm getting adjusted. Have y'all ever had an Uber Eats situation where it says they're on a bike and then they don't even show up in a bike? They show up in a whip. Show up in a whip. Yeah. So I think there's a reason for this. I think um they do that because you get paid more. Okay, because it's like manual labor, Man- I guess. Manual labor. Yeah. Manual labor, it takes long. Mm-hmm. But I remember one time it was like pouring rain, and they were on a bike. I was like, is my food going to be wet? How does this work, bro? <laughs> yeah, nah, it's not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. All right, so we got some people in the check-in. We got Alex Mako. Alex Mako. 201 Mako. That's hey. my guy. He owns a studio. He owns a studio in Lyndhurst. Uh it's called Sound Asylum Studio mm-hmm. in Lynnhurst, New Jersey. Yeah. Shout out Mecco. Shout out Pont. They on that studio. If you're an artist in here right now, you should definitely check them out. Yes. Great rates. Great spot. Um, great people. Those are my guys. So, hey, shout yeah. out to you. 
Just saying, just saying. He, all, he said, never on a bike, always in a Civic. Yo, facts. Uber East drivers <laughs> driving Accords, Civics. What else I see a lot? Little random SUVs. A CRV. Yo, facts. Like, a random little SUV and shit, yo. I swear to God. And then we got Anastasia. Like, yo, they be scamming so they don't pay insurance. Wait, what? Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what? Yeah, so I did. What? No, whoa, like... whoa, whoa, Anastasia, you got to clarify, bro. Yeah. You came out. Make me understand. Uh, <laughs> make yeah, me I think under... so, What do you yeah. mean, don't pay insurance? I, I think through, like, Uber, if, if you, like, tell your insurance, you're an Uber driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that your insurance probably goes up because you're driving more and shit. Maybe. Wow. I could be wrong. So I'm out here. Think, okay, I think? guess because you're risking your life the more. Maybe. Driving. Yeah, you're driving more. The Maybe. car's being used more. I, I have no know. idea about that. Yeah. Like my sense. brother, like my mother's son. Okay, okay. They got Alex out here saying that. <laughs> my God, uh, Mike. So, all right. So you don't think they were spitting your food? N- two of them would. Throw some eye drops in your drink. Nah, the, two of them definitely wouldn't. I trust them too. I trust them. I don't think I think they're good girls and and good people. Okay. But then my old old. But one would you like, tip them though? Yeah. I, I, How much would you tip? Fifteen. That depends because if it's like an twenty percent. If, but if you it's ain't one of the standings. last two. You ain't good. Yo, she brought your food on time. No, if it was one of the last two exes, I'm gonna tip her very well. Okay. You know, cause I don't, What's maybe, tip maybe very we, well? Maybe is that we like is that, is that fifteen twenty percent? What we looking at? No, I'll tip them like ten bucks. That's not very well. All right. It depends, it depends. what your total is. All right, so is. look, so look. If it's, like, one of my last two exes, I would tip both of them. Like, if I knew they were coming, I would probably go over the top. Yeah, And, like, over, over tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying, like, an exact amount. Okay. <laughs> that number is, you know, it's... I'm dead. We can talk about it. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, it's, it's movable, that number. Okay, you know okay, okay. But then the other one, three years ago, she got a regular tip. But she's cool, I guess. But she is crazy. I'm dead. She gives you, like, a, a zero. Yeah, I said from three years zero. ago, from three X's ago. That's what I meant. Have you ever had an Uber Eats delivery that never came, but said delivery? Nah, that shit happened to happens. me the other day, I and I felt so disrespected. Lord. I was so mad because yeah. I ordered a bomb ass breakfast. You ordered Dominican breakfast. Um, shout out to Salsa Cafe, but not shout out to that driver that played me. <laughs> but I was mad excited. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast. I'm gonna get Dominican breakfast. I got salami. I got mango. I got all of it. So excited, and. It said delivered, which was made me more excited. Mm. And then I go out my door, and there's nothing. Yo, that shit had me looking at my neighbors different. That's I was like, yo, who took my food? That's so funny. upset. I'm and happy that's never happened to me, yeah. I'm so I'm upset. Happy, I'm so. like, yo, he probably, and then I learned something. I, I forgot who told me. He said sometimes some Uber drivers will take the food. Definitely. Because nothing will happen. <laughs> Makes sense. They, they like can't get in trouble, it. like or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm like, so he probably smelled that shit. He was like, yo, this shit smell mad good. I had like a chinola juice and every. I was hooked was up. Was he Dominican? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I don't judge. Like I don't judge no, profile but, pictures. Okay. 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 Like, okay. But the name. Like, the name is shit. Dominican, right? Yeah. You're Dominican. That's word, word, word. He's like, no, I'm Guatemalan. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to go there with people. I feel like people come in all shapes and sizes. Hell yeah. So we want to stay open. So okay. So depending on who it is, it could be a good Uber Eats or Uber situation or not. Yeah. Okay, okay. What if she's driving the poppy bus and she picks you up? <laughs> I ain't yeah. getting on the poppy with her. I'm and none of them, none of them, like, the other two are cool, but I'm not getting, nah, either. Nah, I'm, none of my exes could drive. I'm dead. Uh, All right, we got more people in the check in right now. Yo, shout out to Ernesto. What's good, yes. Ernesto? Shout out to you, Poppy. What's up? Yo, we still got Mealy in the check in. We got Anastasia. Like, yo, y'all making me hungry. <laughs> Yo, you gotta buy Anastasia some food. Yeah. Just say it. He's or, like, no. Or, yeah, or, or send us some food. I'm hungry send too. Send us some food. Or, or bring us food. We'll all eat. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, okay. All right, let's go. Let's transition. Let's keep things fresh. Let's keep things fresh. So, have you ever been in a situation where you saw someone get caught cheat get caught cheating accidentally? You're caught cheating. Accident. Like accidentally, like it was an accident. But like, what, but like, what you mean? Like, like the person that they're with sees them okay. in front of them cheating. I'm gonna give you my story real okay. quick. So, a long time ago, everybody knows I have a kid. I have a six year old at home. Shout out to Darius. He's the best son Darius, in the world. Darius, shout out Ew. Darius. Shout out. It was my little ale sound. Ew. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. That's my baby. I love him. So, I had a situation. So when I had my baby shower, right? 
I had a friend. We're going to keep her name mm -hmm. um, protected because we protect the innocent. Mm -hmm. So I had Shorty showed up to my house, and she showed up with dude and a baby, right? And like I was like, oh, okay. But that wasn't her baby father. She was just dating him. Yeah. So when she shows up to my house, I was just like, oh, hi. Like, you know, I'm super happy. It's my baby shower. Mm -hmm. So I met him. We're going to call. I got to give these names because I'm going to go off. All right. We're going to call him Fred, uh, and we're going to call her Linda. Okay. So Linda brought Fred to my baby shower, right? And we're all having a good time. Shit is gully, all that. Mm -hmm. So then... Fast forward five years later, right? Linda is already broken up with Fred, separate lives, whatever. Uh -huh. But I know that they had a fallout because of something that Fred did. So tell me how five years after, yo, I'm like, this shit was crazy. I go to a barbecue, mad random, on the other side of where I met Fred. So I'm, mm. I live in Garfield, right? Mm. And I was at a party all the way in Elizabeth. Okay. All the, like, two That's separate. Deep, That's, That's deep. deep. That's deep. Yeah. And, you know, shout out to Elizabeth. I do love shout Elizabeth. Out Elizabeth. But I was at this party, a party of the house that I don't even know. It was like some Filipino barbecue. Uh -huh. And it was dope. It was all dope. Yeah, I had a good time. Filipinos get lit. OD, OD, yeah. OD. So then I'm there. I'm chilling. I ain't going to lie. I had mad liquid courage. I was drunk. I was feeling good. And I'm looking at this guy, bro. And I'm like... <laughs> I know you. I'm like, oh, my head is way too small. All right. I'm like, I know you. I kept saying it to myself. Like, I know you. I know you. But I don't uh -huh. know who you are. But, like, I know you. And it was, like, five years ago. Too. Yes. But, like, you know when you know someone. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I definitely shoot, shot the shit with this person because they were in my baby shower or whatever. Uh -huh. So tell me how finally we were playing the game of spades, right? We finished the game. I kicked ass. And freaking out of nowhere, it just like, you ever saw That's So Raven? Yeah, you know, it's funny, I'm not a Disney Channel kid. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Cartoon I, Network Nickelodeon kid. Everybody is a check-in that ever <laughs> see That's So Raven. If everybody knows what I'm talking about. But it's like a zoom in? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, she's like, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about, I think. Huh. Camera, got it. So, hey, right, everybody that knows about That's So Raven, that scene where they're like, it's like, make your That's So Raven face. Like, yo, he just stay frozen looking at it. And then, like, it just, like, zooms into her eye. Uh, I looked at this man like, I know you now. Uh, you came to my baby shower with Linda. And he looked at me and turned red. Oh, he had a baby. His baby, he was with his baby mother at the yes. time. Oh, my God. I didn't God. know, though, okay? I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. drunk. This uh, is a house I don't even know. Uh, and he just looked at man, me like. poor guy. Like this, his baby, I, I knew it was baby mother because that lady stood up so fast oh. and so hard and then looked at me. I'm like, looking at her, I'm like, looking at him, I'm like, my bad. Like, I didn't Poor know. Poor guy. Now, yeah. I didn't know though, okay? Like, in my head, I'm just like, da 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 da. And they put me aside. He was like, yo, you're mad cool, but don't ever mention that again. Don't That's ever. crazy. So it turns out the fallout they had, but that's karma for you. She found out she, that he was still with the baby mother. Yes. So or, that's what happened. But it just karma that like that yeah, happened. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I kind of blew up his I didn't know. Yeah, hell yeah. I, 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 I been was so excited to see sick. someone I, I knew. Been sick. But I swear when I said that, she stood up so fast, looked at me, like made the evil eye. I was like, hold on. Uh, you, but you see, like people be fucking up. Why are you going to a baby shower with that girl? Yo, facts. You know what I'm and saying? Like, that's like, deeper than like, You went to my house. That was, that's my yeah, house. Like, like, you chilled, you broke bread, you drank, you brought your kid to my house. Like, yo. Out. Yeah. So, I always remember that moment. I was like, yo, I blew up someone's spot, but I didn't mean to blow up their spot. Uh -huh. So, that was, so that was my cheating scandal of how Damn. I blew up someone else's spot. Have you ever had a scenario happen like that? Or something that happened in front of you, you were like, yo. All right. I, got, I got no shit. sense. All right, let's go, let's well, go. Like, I, but I don't even know. Like, it's not, I didn't really get caught cheating. It's about me. But okay. I fucking, uh. <laughs> what does that mean? It's about me, but I didn't get caught cheating. I, like, I wasn't cheating. Like, it was just, like, you know, the scenario. Oh, God. The, I swear that's, to God. The, that sentence the, nah, 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 sounds listen. wrong. Nah, you're going to see, like, like the, the scenario is mad funny. Like, it's Where, literally some. I swear to God, it's some movie shit. Like, you can't okay. make it up. Like, all right. So. I can't even tell you exactly like what happened. No, nah, you gotta say it now. No, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, I don't remember, but I, I remember like what happened. So I know I'm out drinking with my boy and who, and uh, I forget where we were, but we were gonna go back to this girl's crib. Uh, but like she was having like an after party type shit. Like, so, yeah, like yeah, yeah. people were just going back there, uh, just for the whatever. We'll say her name was fucking. This isn't her real name. We'll say her name was like Brittany or some shit. Brittany. Whatever, Brittany. Okay. Sounds like a white girl. It wasn't even a white girl. It was a, it was a Spanish girl. Brit. Uh, but whatever. So we'll say we're going to her house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
bro, I'm, I'm, I have a girlfriend at the time. Tell me how, bro, my phone butt dials my girlfriend. And it, and, it, and it goes, I swear to God, like, you can't make it up. Like, and it goes to her voicemail. So I'm there the whole time. Like, yeah, we got to Ashley's crib. Like, I said, I said whatever. We're going, we're going to this girl, Ashley's crib. So I'm like, oh, we got to Ashley's crib, Ashley's crib. But, so, like, the name Ashley is, like, a red flag. Like, that's, like, that's like her name. Like, she couldn't do it because she, she, she may or may not have, have seen a Snapchat from a girl named Ashley, but there were two different Ashleys. Wait, time out. You, you, you're you leaving a lot of gaps here, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. I didn't get caught cheating. Now we got a Snapchat. All right. so I'm, what, I'm, what I'm just giving the... you the background on the name. Like, the, So the name is like Red Flag. She fucking, she, she don't hears like that. Ashley. Yeah, she, she hears that name. And Brittany she t- doesn't like Ashley. No, no, no. Girlfriend doesn't like. So who's Brittany? Girl, girlfriend doesn't like Brittany. Okay, no, girlfriend I, I, doesn't I, like I, Brittany. Yeah, because, but she doesn't even know Brittany. I barely know Brittany. Ashley's Brittany. Ashley's Brittany. Okay. Yeah. I no, 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 but, but there's... What? Okay, no, a, yeah, all right, whatever. You're so we're, All right, real names. All right, so we're going back to this, girl, this girl named Ashley's house. Yeah, 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 She's having people over, so we're going there to drink. Yeah, yeah, Prior to that, prior to me calling her and being on, and, on the voicemail... Okay. There was a time that I got a Snapchat from another person named Ashley Complete. She sent you a Snapchat. It might have been, uh, we might have Snapchatted each other. That's besides the point. Uh, okay, bueno. Um, <laughs> it was, okay, but her name is Yo, Ashley. If y'all can see Wally's face right now. <laughs> but, but her name is Ashley, too, but they're two completely different people. Like, okay, okay, okay. Completely different Separate. people. Separate. So, so now, boom, I'm on the voice when I'm talking about, yeah, we going, uh, I was like, yo, we out to Ashley's? Like, we out, like, asking my boy. So she hears that, and yeah, yo, Starts it was Starts blowing uh, up your phone. Nah, nah, not even like it, it was just she blew up like whatever. It was but you tight. mean she blew, she showed up? Nah, 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 nah. Cause and we ended up not even fucking going to the girl's crib. Like so, where'd y'all go? Home, like this home, like a faithful boyfriend. Uh, but but it's mad wait, funny, like. <laughs> wait. But we were going there because like our friends were going there. Like we have girlfriends too, and okay, there was like but multiple people there. Were you gonna tell there. her that you were I, gonna go? I did tell her. No, you didn't. <laughs> If you had to look up in the sky, bro, Actually, I, you didn't say anything. I, I might not have told her. I told her I was going somewhere. No, I think I did tell her. That's not the same thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, I did tell her. Voicemail, you told her. Oh, yeah, it's the, the voicemail. voicemail. <laughs> Your voicemail told I her. I think I did tell her, though. I think I did tell her. But I'm not going to lie, because I'll be pissed, too. I'm like, you didn't yeah. say anything. Bro, what? I would break up my ass. Yeah. So whatever. She broke up my ass. And then uh, whatever, we got back together. But yeah. But she still don't like Ashley. Definitely not. Oh but but, but, like, but like the, the funny thing is, she I think she's cool with the Ashley ass house I was going to. She's cool with that Ashley, but What's the other the Jerry Springer shit. No, is but this? the other <laughs> Ashley, the other Ashley is the alleged one that I was snapping. Alleg- Why were you allegedly. snapping though? Allegedly, no, I already admitted to it. But Let me tell you something. You play stupid games, you I get stupid get, prizes. Yo, facts. But I was young, bro. I was like, I think I was twenty three. But that was a long time ago. Twenty three. Three years ago. I mean, yeah, that just sounds now, crazy. Now, that's what I'm saying. Now, I'm not now ready Kenneth for a relationship. Kenneth has no secrets. Yeah, I am not ready for a relationship. No. I'm, I have some maturing to do now, fucking with I you. I mean, you definitely... I just don't that. I, I'm not interested in a relationship right now. Focus like, if it happens, yourself. it happens. I mean, exactly. Yeah. But focus on yourself. Yeah. Also, like, you don't want to be... I feel like once you start doing stuff with, like, business and, like, music and stuff like that, you don't want to be with somebody that's going to hold you back. You nah, don't want to be. Yeah. You want to be with. Like, if anything, your girl should be like your right hand man bro. to party. Like, that's your hype girl. Bro, that's gonna that's be. What I'm that's saying. gonna be the girl that grabs the girls to bring together and that, for that, that's, you. That was like the problem with like my last relationship type shit. Uh, oh, your relationship guy. Nah, I've had, I've had three that's relationships. That's not a bad thing. No, nah, I've had three relationships in my life. I'm a dog. Like, okay, man, I'm a, <laughs> you're not a relationship. Yeah, guy. No, I'm definitely not a relationship guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but like my last relationship was like more like I was like I was hit there for like her dreams type shit you know like mm-hmm. pushing her like your shit comes first like I come second you know what I'm yeah. saying like that type of vibe which as it should you be you made her a priority yeah no I'm saying like I made her like she her priorities I wanted it to be what she like what she was trying to do like her dream yeah and then I'm the second priority like okay that's important to me like that's how it, it that's how it needs to be yeah yeah, yeah. um but like she was like wasn't really supportive of, of like the music shit. I also wasn't like in tune with Wiley. Do you feel and like shit she yet. wasn't supportive because maybe it was a little bit of jealousy? Like, like she why definitely didn't she like what I was saying on songs. Like she loved. I, I got a song called "For You." She loved that song, but like, uh, 
I don't know, this is just the shit I be saying. I, well, at least the time I was in back then. Like, back then I was, like, still, like, rowdy, getting drunk, fighting all the time. Like, yeah. whatever. Like, just a, a wild, reckless kid fucking, and uh, whatever. So, like, the, but I was still making love music and shit, but I was just, like, more, it was more, like, on the gritty side. Like, I definitely, I, I put out a tape of three songs that was just gritty as fuck. I was like about the, to say, where is this going? You were like, yeah. I put out a tape. I'm like, yeah, what type like, of tape? Uh, like, was, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Gritty as fuck. Like, there was a diss track on there, all that, like. Because I was with I don't know, back then I was just you know, we would go out and just fight like oh, over no. the weekends. Yeah, bro, youngins wildin. I mean, trust me, I get a little toxic yeah. too, so mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like but not yeah, I am deny not on that. that time no more at all. I'm not fighting nobody. Okay, yeah, fighting but is not nice. I, I'll, I'll punch you in the face, but like, you know. You'll punch her in the face? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just like, saying, what? like, you know what I'm saying? I like, the back of leg, wait. I, I don't want to fight no one, but, like, I'm not back pussy. Like, don't get it twisted. You know? Okay. I mean, I believe yeah. you. You do construction. You probably hurt somebody. Yeah. I mean, like, any guy that does construction, like, just works with their hands, he's going to punch you really hard. Like, I feel like that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. And you Irish, too, so. Irish. I do remember that. You're definitely Irish. Uh -huh. All right. So, let's go into, like, the next topic that I have. So, we talked a little bit about Uber Eats um, cheating scandal. Oh, thank you. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, this Yeah, like we had one like. Is it out? Still there? No, you good. Now. Okay, I'm still adjusting, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to put my headphones. Thank you. All right, so that's that's definitely um transition. So we talked about Uber Eats cheating scandals. Your cheating scandal, somewhat cheating Alleg scandal. Allegedly. Allegedly. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right, so let's talk about like being with someone who has kids. Mm hmm. How do you feel like that would be? Um, like, do you feel like, um, is this something, like, if, for example, if you get to know a girl and she has a child, is this something that kind of, like, pushes you away? I, I, Does I, it so, matter? Actually, uh, until, like, 2021, I've never fucked with a girl who had kids. Yeah. And then, like, 2021, I actually fucked with, like, some girls who had kids and shit. Yeah. But, like, uh, I don't know, it depends, like. I, I like it depends if I'm really connecting with the girl like mm -hmm. it's different like bro I'm I'm fucking grown now like, I also don't want to take care of a kid but like if I'm really connecting with a girl like on that level like I, I feel like I have to be mature enough to yeah. you know like kind of man up you got like I'm not even necessarily hopefully the, like dad's in the, in the picture and shit like yeah. hopefully I don't have to be around the kid you know what I'm saying like just out of respect for of the course. father and I shit mean, like that you know that comes like you know with just like time and patience and stuff mm. like that but there are some people that feel like they can't do that you uh -huh. know it's just like uh, it's yeah. not for me no yeah, i'm definitely i'm not closed off to it i'm who knows where life takes you you know like, exactly i mean yeah. in in the end there's no right or wrong answer so mm. my thing with this i was actually going to come in so, like something funny i always mm. say like if a guy could convince for a girl to be his third baby mother, yeah, I, I saw that name. Like that, yeah. You should be selling houses. Yeah, that, that, that should have me dying laughing. Because it's so true. Uh -huh. If you got two other kids with two other baby mothers, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, because it, it, life is all about building families, building communities. But you gotta love. be able to laugh at yourself too. Yeah, what? That shit's kind of funny, like, bro. How did you get <laughs> away you with up? that one? Like, yeah. what? <laughs> I mean, Cardi B's like that. For real? Yeah. Um, oh, well, Offset? Offset got it mad don't count, kids. Though. I feel like at, at, at that... Offset at, got, like, six kids. But at, at that level, it don't count no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at that level, you're just... You guys are rich as fuck. You know the kids are taken care of. Like, True. So, True. I feel like at that point, it's just like, it doesn't even matter. True. I and mean, especially supposedly, like where he a got lot another people, baby on the way. That's real? That's a rumor that came out. That supposedly... Allegedly. 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 That offset, he ain't do it definitely has like another kid and that's just no. crazy like another thing about being famous like you gotta be careful You're a hot boy. everything you who do who you are having sex with cause bro, I you can't fall asleep you know what I mean cause that's what I think about sometimes what do you mean you can't fall asleep like you can't fall asleep with a random girl if you're famous cause well, you she'll gotta, probably rob you no she's gonna put you on video like you know what I'm saying shit like that I seen a mean? video I seen a video of like fucking academic snoring with some girl are you serious yeah like, I know like Takashi was notorious for that. Well, like mm. Celine, whatever that crazy girl uh, was named, she started filming him to show proof, like, hey, I'm actually with this guy. But yeah, I, yeah. I learned that that was just like a publicity stunt. Mm, but yeah, now people definitely like imagine some. Imagine a girl from over here has sex with Drake, and Drake falls asleep okay. next to her. She's he, she's taking a picture of him, you know, what I'm saying or a video or something. And also, real quick, guys, we're actually going to be opening up the phone lines. So if anybody wants to go ahead and kind of. Just join call us in this in. banter. Definitely um, call in. Call in. Um, the number to call in is 862. Okay. 
So the number to call in is 862-261-9536. All right, hold on. I got to give that number again, guys. T- type it in. Okay, I was going to say All right, so just in, in case, it's, it's, it is going to be on the chat, so do call in if you want to be part of this organic banter. And again, guys, I appreciate your patience. You know, I'm, I'm trying. You know, I'm doing oh, good. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Thank you for studio, having patience. In the studio, this shit looks fucking... Right? Yeah, this Yo, is shout elite, out to, bro. Shout out to Marv shout and Bravery Marv. Studios. How you doing? No, hey, yeah. shout out to dope. him. Shout this out to spot. him. So, yeah. Um, Let me ask, can I ask you a question? Yeah. So how often are you going to be doing shows now? Every Wednesday still. Every, Every Wednesday, Wednesday, 4 to 6 p.m. Um, obviously, with this type of environment, I could do a little bit more. Mm. So I just have a lot of ideas. I want to, you know, I don't want to give too many ideas in the air because I do have, like, certain, you know, yeah. just privacy stuff. I don't mm-hmm. want other people taking my ideas. Yeah. But it's all about growing. I want to, like, really tap into, like, this local community of music and just understand, like, who's out there. Mm. Maybe even create, like, some type of event. Where I could have like all the artists that I've had on my shows, and then have them do like a performance. Yo, like I've been each... wanting to do something like that. Like, yeah. like, get, like get like a venue and just get a bunch of people to sell tickets that are artists. You know, we should do that. We could definitely work something like yeah, that. You come yeah. through. Um, you as well, love oh, yeah. Mac. 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 All right, so Mac could come through, and also like in general, like you guys could also meet the other guests I have had because it's all about talent, and again, love and supporting. Oh, and then fucking networking. And shit, exactly, you know? like, and also people. we're all in Jersey, uh-huh. so this is like about building that. I feel like if big brand communities could do it themselves, why can't we? Yeah, exactly. It has to start somewhere. Mm-hmm. And we so, all got the same goal. You know? Exactly. All right, so. so we could definitely talk about that. We could definitely talk about that for oh, sure. Yeah. So, all right, I want to talk about this because I actually, like, looked this up the other day, and I feel like sometimes, like, do you ever feel like girls are just, like, very rejectful during kissing and touching, especially when it turns into sex? What do you mean? So, I looked at this the other day. I feel like some, not all guys, but I do feel like sometimes guys tend to be a little off balance when it comes to this. Like, kissing or touching your partner when you want sex will make your partner reject you more. Like, if you're only kissing and touching your partner, and okay. it's just to and do that type of engagement, okay. it's going to lose her. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, do you feel like, so for example, so like, like you're, you're if saying... I'm rubbing your arm, it should be like, maybe I just want to rub your arm. I okay, shouldn't have yeah. to rub your arm to insinuate something. Okay. Do you ever feel like some girls just get annoyed or like, uh, he's like, not with me. <laughs> nah, yeah, well, I, I, I was going to say like, that, that, that's, that's tough. Because that's more like a relationship thing, right? But my thing is like it could be a relationship like, thing, I, like when I like know, the like, fire my, goes. Yeah, you know? say like, bro, I say I have a girl. Like I know when she touches me, it might not be in a sexual way. I know it's not a sexual way, but I'm still, I I'll still be turned dead. on by my girl, bro. Like, it's my I girl for dead. a reason, you know. I feel you. But like, yeah, whatever. I, 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 I enjoy like the the intimacy more, like. I don't know. It's uh. That's all good. It's yeah. all good. I, I fuck with touching. Like, okay. That's big to me. That's like, your love language. Yeah. Like, nah, not even. But like, I I enjoy like, I don't know. I like feeling you in bed. Type shit It's weird. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Like for sleeping. Like I like you touching cuddling? me and shit. Not necessarily cuddling, but like. Okay. I do like cuddling too. I fuck with it. Cuddling is like a eh, eh for me because I'm like I like I don't like to feel heat. So to Lord. me, I'm like, yo, if I'm like hot, I'm like, yo, get off of me. I'd be like, yo, straight up. It's not even romantic for me. I'm sweating. Like, it's gross. So it's like, that's how I'll get. And I'll Lord. straight up say it. I also don't like when people snore very loud. Lord. I'm like, can you just let me fall asleep first? I definitely snore when I'm drunk. I think everybody snores when they're drunk. Lord. Females, too. When females swear they, they don't, don't snore. snore. <laughs> yo, listen. I'm saying it right now. Y'all snore. I snore. I we snore all, when I drink. We all snore. And I can admit we that. All snore. We all snore. But I know you probably had a shorty in the bed and it was like, it's yo. like, yo, is she okay? Bro. I mean, I, I, I can't tell, tell you like an exact face. time. I can't tell you like an exact time, but like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we got a caller. Yo, let's oh, take this call. This is my first call. Yo, who we got yeah. in the check? It is Mina Mendoza. It's Big 201. Big, Big 201, my boy Mecca. Hey, shout out to you. Thank you for what's tapping in. I heard we're talking about cuddling. I love cuddling. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? All right, all right, all right. What's your favorite I like cuddle? Baby spoon. Yo, yeah. me too. Little, little, spoon. little Spoon. It's Little Spoon vibes on the side. Little Spoon. Wait, wait. So when you say Little Spoon vibes, you mean you want, you, you want to be held? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why should say it like that? It's a cold world. 
<laughs> tell, him, cold world. tell him, Mecca. We like being, we like being cold. But what if she's smaller yeah, than right? you? That's even better. Like, well, nah, just... nah. Then, then she gotta be little. It's like a little monkey no, on your bro. back. Hell nah. Yeah. Oh, bro, we're like six feet tall. How, how like a like a five? She can't. She can't big spoon. Me. Nah, hell yeah, she can. She can't big, but she can. She'll big spoon the shit out of you, bro. She can like kind of grab you a little bit. I don't yeah, know I like how that would look. Yo, you gotta turn over, squish her. Her head's gonna be like her head's gonna be in like the middle of your back. Just breathe it. Mad cute, mad romantic. Yo, I'm dead. Like you like this. He's I like, do. I, I like, love it. I do like romantic shit. Alright, what about when a girl farts in bed? It depends if I'm like if it's my girlfriend, like we're mad comfortable with each other. Yeah. But what if it was an accident? Like girls a, fart. I laugh. Wait, I like, laugh. Wait, like, like, He's in like, bed, I laugh. like in bed, like having sex or like oh, sleeping. I mean, okay. So say y'all were just chilling and y'all, you tickled her. <laughs> All right, that might be Just funny. That, it, it, it depends how much I like her, though, but that might be funny. You know why that happened to you? No, it's like, yo. <laughs> oh, otherwise, yo. it would be mad like, awkward. Like, just watching you for you, and she just lets one rip. This is, oh, wait, nah, wait, nah, yeah, I'm not cool with yo, that. Yo, I'm watching you. Yo, you're for you. Nah, not cool. He said you're watching Euphoria. Yo, Euphoria is not for the week. Bro, that's all I, I got to say. I'm only six episodes in the first season. How do you think of it? I like it. Right? I like it a first lot more all, than I thought it was. Euphoria, all I can say it's is this. Bad. I didn't want to like it. The first three episodes, I've never seen so much dick in my life. There's man. Yo, dick. like OD. I was like, yo, this yeah, is this is soft porn. Low key. I mm-hmm. just never saw so much HBO, dick. Baby. Yo, facts. I was like, this is HBO. They're yeah. just letting shit go. Mm-hmm. But like, I really never saw. Like, I was just like, yo, so what's up? Every five minutes, you just gotta put a dick in there. Like, <laughs> dick. Yo, just Surprise just right dick. there for yeah. real. And like, I was very like, whoa. And then on top of that, I didn't know that Jules was a guy. Yeah, well, she's she's trans. She's yes, trans. she's but no, but I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought she was actually like a girl. Yeah, girl. no, I did too. I see. Yeah, you know what's mad funny? Actually, no. I don't even, I don't All right, it. so what's up? We were talking about cuddling. You know, kind of like jump off topic real quick. Have you ever? So, what's the worst cuddle? What is the worst cuddle someone could give you? Oh, could give you. Uh, I hate being the big spoon. But you're bigger. I uh, know. Yo, I like being yeah, the little spoon. The spoon. I've been the big. Mo- on multiple occasions, yes, but like big spoons are uncomfortable. So hugging a girl from the back on the side is uncomfortable. Hell yeah! Why you can't sleep like that? Why I always wake up? I always wake up with my back to her. What? We sleep back to back after that. Yo, I can't stand you. Because I gotta like, all right, boom. Because now I'm here. I'm like, your this, arms. This, this is uncomfortable. I got a bad shoulder already. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I got a bad shoulder already. You okay, know? So, okay, like, okay. I'm laying on my shoulder, and I'm, this is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna catch myself like. Slipping out and then turning over back to back. And that's when she wakes up. When yeah, my arm she falls comes and spoons like me after that. When your arm falls asleep, you can't. No, yeah, I hate that shit. Like, I, I, I could fall asleep being the little spoon, 100%. Okay. I understand why girls love it. Yeah. I, I mean, understand. my worst cuddle, I feel like I don't like... I just don't like sweating. I hate I sweating. Like sweating. I shit gets me mad. Especially it's like, why... Yeah, it's just like, like why are you cold. why are you aspirating like this? Like I don't yeah. like that. I don't like that at all. Mm. Also, I don't like the snoring. Like I get it. I, I'll snore. He'll snore. Mm. Um, but let me fall asleep first. <laughs> I don't like sounds. Like I'll sounds get that. to me. Like the same thing. Like if someone chews with their mouth open. I hate that. I will look at you and want to kill work. you. Mm-hmm. Yo, have you ever been out to eat where somebody's just chewing with their mouth open? No, nah, not recently. Probably when I was a kid, though. I remember like. Oh, like mad kids used to be like that. It's just gross. All right, so the person we have on the phone, um, uh, Mecca, Me- two, big, Mecca, yeah, two hundred one Mecca, two hundred one Mecca. All right, let's hear a story from you. You got a story from us. Has a girl ever farted in front of you in bed? And what do you do? Um, actually, I got a, a, a different kind of fart story. What's up? Let me. I want to hear it. We got time. All right, so so let's say um. Damn, not saying names is crazy. You guys yeah, protect lie, the innocent, bro. You can't be doing that. Team Little Spoon. Hey. All right, so, <laughs> so her name, uh, I didn't have to say her name. So I went to this girl's crib, uh-huh. and uh, it was like the first time I chilled with her, whatever. She gave it up very easily. Um, <laughs> just went that way. Pimpin'. So right. Yeah, Pimpin'. When, Pimpin' ain't dead. When I, listen, listen, listen. When I pulled it out, I like, yo, I'm like 17 years old. This is the first time I ever heard a queef, and that mm. shit did not oh, stop. Oh, my God. Yo, this shit did not stop. Yo. I was like, I was acting like that shit didn't happen. I left. I called all she my boys. I was like, yo, this girl just farted for like half an hour, yo. Uh, she was beatboxing on you. And that's funny. Yo, that shit, was, yo. that shit was way too long. I remember when we were younger. That was way too long. When we were younger, there was like a bad stigma around queefs. Yeah, like queefs are not oh, really geez. a bad stigma. Let's go, let's go with the stigma. I never talked to her again. The fuck is Did you never talk to her again? 
Nine, she got bad now. Oh uh, man, you fucked up. You could have had a. I mean, I'm I not saying up. it's not. It's not like a, a squirter. I'm I would have had a queef monster. You would have had a. I'm dead. You had a queef. All right, yeah, so I, I mean that's crazy. I don't. I don't think there should be stigmas on queefing. I feel like yeah, right. queefing is absolutely normal. No, no, they're all it's like, they're what all do you natural. expect? You're just shoving air in yeah, there. Like, just... what is gonna happen? Is, mm. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna it go? Has to get, yo, all I can tell you is this: if that girls don't queef, queef, hold that time out. If girls don't queef, you know how you make a girl queef? No matter what, you will always you can have, and it has to happen when you you hit it from the back. So if you hit it from the back and she don't queef. And best believe she will squeeze. <laughs> Once y'all stop, squeeze in her stomach. Just squeeze it. <laughs> it will happen. It will. I swear to God. Yo. Uh, just throw a jab right. at her stomach? No. Throw don't a throw jab. a jab at her stomach, bro. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? No, He's like, hold on. I'm done. Nah. Yo, I'll give her just a squeeze. Like, squeeze her stomach. Like, a, a nice <laughs> hug. <laughs> Yeah, you know, exactly. One, but then you don't know. But at that point, you squeeze it. You don't know if it's her butt or her pussy. Uh, <laughs> you funny. Mm -hmm. It's right. like both. Um, it's a little bit of both. It's a, a DP of queef. And just real quick, my love, just because you are on the line, any type of shout outs you want to do real quick um, before we let you go? Hey, shout out to uh, my man's company that he's wearing right now, Bars, Bars Creative Services. Shout out Sound Asylum. That's my studio. Shout out everybody, man. Hey, appreciate you. Go, I appreciate Bars, you right. so much. Love. Shout Def out the whole Asian lesbian demographic. All right, there you go. Now we're going to get canceled. Get him off the line. We got to okay, get him out of here. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> paso, se paso. Yeah. But thank you, love, for calling in. Definitely subscribe it's to the channel. Pleasure. Still t stay tapped in. We still got a half hour of the show, and I appreciate you for calling in, all right? That it came to the moon. Yo, my guy, yo, he, he owns Sound Asylum Studio in Linares. This is my boy, I was telling you guys about. Hey, all right, shout out to you, love. Thank you for calling. All right, all right. So let's go. Yeah, he was fun. Yeah, he's he fucking that kid's a character, yeah. He was fun. Okay, so yeah, for real, stigmas are going on queefing. Yeah, yo, I don't think it should exactly. be. Exactly. Queefing should be stigma free. I mean, I can share a story of mine. I don't get embarrassed. I'm no, like, I'm no. a very like honest person. But like one time, I remember I went on a date. And this is just me being real because it did happen. But like, I'm not a nasty girl, whatever. Mm. So there was one time I was going on out on a date, or whatever, and the guy was dropping me off, and I remember I was like, "Yo, I gotta get some." <laughs> I was like, I wasn't even interested in him. I really wasn't, and I was just like, "Yo, just get me to my house." But like, this right was like now. the last link because you weren't gonna see him again. No, it was yeah, the first yeah. date. I just wasn't into him. Yeah, it just yeah. wasn't for me. And like, we he was dropping me off home, and then like in. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, I got to use the bathroom. Like, mm. I got to go. <laughs> and luckily, he had, like, music up. So, because my stomach was rip. making okay, noises. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just knew. I was in such a, like, tight position. Mm -hmm. So, I was so, like, quick to leave the car. You got out too fast. I got up way too fast. And I know I definitely farted. I That's farted hilarious. and shut the door. That's hilarious. Yo, I farted and shut the door. I don't know. Oh, but the crazy God. thing is that he stood there. <laughs> and watched you go and inside. And so I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> he still texts me, but like, uh, I just, he never talked about it. Okay, I know good. it happened, uh -huh. but it was just crazy. It was like, That's shut the door. And I left yeah. it with my fart. I'd be so car. embarrassed. I was, but I just didn't look back. <laughs> I just kept walking to my house, yo. That's fucking funny. That yeah. was, um, yeah, yeah, that was my story right yeah, there. That's, that's dope that fart story. a long time ago. I don't do shit like that. But like I'm just saying, it just, it was natural. It I'm trying to think if I have a fart story. Ever farted in front of yo, a girl? What? Ooh, like now, my hold girl, on, my... let's look at the check real quick. We got Ernesto, Team Little Spoon. I talk and cool yeah, in my sleep. Team Little Spoon. All right, we also got BZ, Team Boy. Okay. Yes, sir. Queef is not a bad thing. Do we got another caller? Yeah, another All right, caller. let's take in another call. Let's get these calls in. Mina Mendoza, who we got in the check-in right now? Bay. 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 Uh, no. Okay. Bay okay. Wrong. All right. How you doing, Bay? How you doing? I'm good. Bay is Bay with a Y. Bay yeah, with a Y. Bay with a y. Okay, I, I, I hear call, you. I, I call him Bay with an A E though. Hey. That's my Bay Bay Ron. Yo, how you doing? How you hey. making the show? <laughs> What's good? I'm enjoying it right now. You guys are cracking me up right now. Oh, I'm loving it. As long as we're entertaining, you guys. We're here for the entertainment, the banter, the good yes, life, sir. and the uncomfortableness. That's what we're here for. Yo, we know exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, uh -oh. you got a story know, to share. Yeah, with I was gonna them, say, though? we know you got something for Yo, us. Yo, you nah, got a story? I just, I just, 
I just always had a question that I always wanted to get to the bottom of. I, okay, let's let's do it. We on air. Go ahead, bro. What's going to happen? Girl body count and boy body count the same thing. Oh, that's a great uh, question. Yeah. Okay, this is my thing with this. I feel like it doesn't matter. I personally feel like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I feel like we live in a world straight up where body count, as long as you're safe and you're protecting yourself, I really don't care what hole you stuck it in. As long mm -hmm. as that when you're with me and you say you're monogamous, it's about monogamous. So mm -hmm. it's about monogamy in general. So it's like, does body count matter? No. But does body count matter if you're lying about it? Yes. Word. Like, I, I, be truthful. Yeah, that's what I was going like, to say. Like, if yeah, you so fucked like, 100 people, good for you. Yeah. Maybe you know how to fuck. Uh -huh. But, like, you know, yeah. it could be a great thing. As long as, like, I'm safe, you're safe, and you're not lying about it. Because I don't want to go out with you and be like, yo, he fucked, like, mad bitches. Yeah. When? He never told me that. Word, word. I don't want to find out about you. Yeah, I'm fucking, I, like, I don't, I don't even think I knew my last two exes body count. I don't even want to know. I don't care. You know? No. But if I fuck with you, I fuck nah, with what you. I'm, what I'm asking, though, is, like, do it matter? If a, fem if, if a female fucked 100, uh, 100 guys <laughs> and, a, and a nigga fucked 100 girls, right? Mm -hmm. Like, does... Does, Does it equal the same? Both I, I, I don't think it equals I, the same. I think it depends on who you're talking to. Because to me, it does equal the same. I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like girls could girls stigma. can have sex too. Stigma again. Yeah. We're talking about stigma. It's like I feel like there's a stigma against women because it's like that's that old ide ideology of like mm. women being certain ways. But it's like we live in the future, bro. COVID done destroyed everything. Go mm. fuck who the fuck you want. Mm. Like, yo, I don't even care. Just make sure that I'm safe and you're not bringing me into drama with people or drama with my body and we cool and make it consensual I, I also don't want to know if you if she fucked a hundred dudes yo because like if i hear that yeah if, like, yeah, so if i'm you, like laid up with her do you care if the girl fucked a hundred dudes yeah like, are you waiting for her is that someone you're bringing home if i know is that all right it depends you Thanksgiving? If, if, if i know prior are you bringing him to, now look, are you bringing up. her <laughs> but, like, the, hold but there's context though like is she okay, okay, thotty yeah. or is obviously she's like kind of thotty and she fucked a hundred dudes like, i mean if you fuck a hundred niggas ain't no yeah, way yeah, I, but, all right but but does does she have something going for herself she could have had a good Couple college years, yeah, you know. Everybody has their bloody years. Okay. She was on her bukkake way. Every oh bukkake, <laughs> this guy, yo. No. At that point, you're not dating. You're dating a porn star. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's somebody else. Bukkake. No, okay. That's such a funny <laughs> word. No, what's the horn? No, but uh, back to that. If, if she got like, if she got something going for herself, like, and she's like lit in a way, like, and she's like. I don't know. Maybe we'll what talk about it. What if she knows how to suck a dick? But see, all right, see, so like the physical thing don't get me, yeah. I'm not, like, nah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cuffing no one off the physical nah, shit. Nah, cause then, cause then you out and then you, and then you in the spot, right? <laughs> she suck like five dicks in there. Cause most of the time you go, you going be with a girl that's around your area. You're gonna be in the spot. You're gonna be like, how many niggas dick she suck in yeah, this That's club? what I'm Yo. saying. Like, you, know, you, you could do a whole bukkake in there. Yo, I'm dead. Why do I feel like this is sounds mad familiar? Like, this is like a movie or something. Like, you walk into a room and you had sex with everybody in here. Yo. What the fuck? Nah. <laughs> nah. That's hilarious. Baron, I mean, that was great. That was a great question. I guess I answered to your question. I feel like it just doesn't matter as long as you're truthful about it. If, it it if, depends if, who you are. I depend. Yeah, to like, at least be honest about it. Don't hide it you know no no to, to be to, to me honestly like like who i fuck don't matter but if you fuck too many people you're done <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yo but we got people to check in right now we got ernesto like i can't count that high like i can't count that high we also got i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna i'm gonna work i'm gonna a work call i'm gonna let y'all go oh it's all God. good it's all good thank that. you for checking in thank you for calling love subscribe and just show support thank you my guy. All right. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good question. Yeah, hell yeah. I like that Bank question. I, I, I like. He was like, I was, "There's one thing I always want to get to the bottom of." I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh fuck." I wasn't. I wasn't. Know, I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't, but I'm all here for it. Mm -hmm. Nothing really makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And people in the no, check-in. That's what I'm saying. I'm worried about getting canceled and shit. I feel he's about to let it rip. Oh he's no! At that us... point, I'd be like, "Yo, Marv, take him off the phone. Yeah. Like he bugging. He bugging. <laughs> <"Sepa> so, <"Sepa laughs> so. so. At that point, we Shout cut out him off. for being mature. Yes, that and part. Funny. Drop a bomb on that one. All right, so we talked a little bit about body count, all that. So, okay, how about that? We could continue off of that. If you, if you, you know, you're intimate with someone and you notice that, mm, she's like really doing the right things. Is mm -hmm. that a turn on or a turn off? Yeah, I, I can't be with, like, I, I won't cuff a girl that doesn't have like an end goal. Like, 
something that she's trying an to end achieve. Goal? Not an end goal, but like something that she's trying to achieve. You know, like even if it's not where you're gonna go after the rest of your life, like if you're not trying to do something with with your life, then okay. I can't fuck with you really. She you needs know? that potential. Yeah, like e- even if you don't have any potential, but like you're driven to like try and become something, mm-hmm. I fuck with that, you know. She's well, no matter drive. what it is, like yeah, whether you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lash tech, you want to you want to be a manager at McDonald's, like as long as you got goals, I yeah, fuck with that. Yeah. Like you need to have goals. Like, okay. I need a goal oriented woman. You know. I like that. Okay. Mm. So, let me give you a scenario. Say we go to. I don't want to like name the establishment. But, all right, let's go. Let's say we go to a titty bar, right? Can you date a dancer? Hell yeah. Really? Yeah, dancers are cool as hell. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't get you jealous? I mean, I'm, I, once you start dating a dancer, that can't get you jealous. I'm not saying it, it, as of now, it probably gets like me a little jealous. Like you walk in, you go to work. I know work, a couple dancers that's. You go to work and be like, yo, I went to this spot. This person's name she says her stage name. Mm-hmm. Yo, she gave me the best left this uh, ever. Yeah. I made it rain on her. Not, yeah, I don't know. I have to, she'd have to be getting money. She has to like be getting money if she's dancing. You okay, know? so you cool with that? Yeah, like she has to be a popping dancer. Okay. Like, I'm not saying I'm cool with it right now. Obviously, I'm not dating a dancer, so I, I can't tell you if I'm cool with it. Yeah. But uh, I'm definitely open to dating a dancer, yeah. Okay, okay. 100%. So, would you be cool with going to that spot with all your boys and her just do her thing? Yeah, I got, I, you'd have to own it. Another thing, like, you got to okay. own it, bro, you know? Like, you can't be out here fucking worried, you know? Like, oh, my, my boy is going to judge me. Like, True. Fuck that. You're supposed to be posting it. Like, yeah, my girl dancing tonight. Like, yes. But, okay, okay. I, I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very. To it. I'm, I'm actually very open to dating a dancer. Okay. Going to yeah. have her dance on your videos? Yeah, not even that, you know. I don't know. Could be an idea. I mean, a dan- partnership. Dancers are dead cool as fuck. Well, I mean, that's how you can get your ass shaking video. That's that. Be like, yo, we're gonna go to your job. And we I want you to get everybody all your girls, on call. Yeah, to at all this throw time, ass. Yeah. Everybody. Just uh-huh. everybody. And I just that stand ass. in the middle. Can mm-hmm. make it work. You just gotta make sure you fuck with the right one. Cause there's like, so you know, what's not the right one? Ones that bring drama or like be in drama. Really? Dancers Hell bring yeah. drama? In, in, like, the, the dance side of things, like, with other dancers, they be having drama and what shit. What do you mean? Yeah. Tell like, me about it. I'm not a guy. I feel I like, know. yo, first of all, when girls go to a titty bar, it is a different experience from a guy. Mm-hmm. When girls go, it's more, like, welcoming to us. People mm-hmm. gravitate to us. Yeah, like, I've been yeah. to titty bars with just girls, and hell it's yeah. the best feeling ever. Bro, you feel yeah. so empowered. Like... Or you go out if you go out to a strip club with girls, the, the dancers are gonna be more on you. Oh, like, for real, for like, a fact, yeah. uh, for a fact, they always just gravitate, always mm-hmm. nice. So that's why I'm curious. Like I don't know how it is for the opposite sex because yeah. you talk about drama from dancer to dancer. So what's up with but, that? But like that's like behind the scenes stuff. Like I feel like it won't show like when you pull up. Yeah, like, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll have their own like little inter inner drama, you know. Yeah. But uh, no, nah, I fuck with the strip club. Yo. I go in there like I'm just anti weird. Like I hate making any woman feel uncomfortable. Like, I hate making my friends feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So I, I go there, I chill, I get a drink. I, like, I'm not the type that's, like, grabbing any girl that walks by. Like, girls come up to me and shit, obviously, because it's their job. Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely not a creep at all. I don't like that creepy shit. Uh, shit, I fuck with actually talking to them and shit. Okay, like, a lot of okay. them are cool. I mean, yeah, I'm not against yeah. it. I love going to titty bars. It's mm-hmm. mad fun. Mm-hmm. I remember one time I went to a titty bar. It was mad funny, though, because, like, I was sitting down, and, like, I guess Shorty didn't start her job yet, but she was ripping mad KFC. <laughs> like, a lot of KFC. But, and but, was, but then that's the thing. Like, she was probably came from her other job straight maybe. over there. Bro, I, I know a girl. Well, we know a girl. She's. I, I just found out she's, like, 21, 22, and I thought she was way older. She finished school while still doing the nightlife shit, like, graduated college. Yeah. Getting bread, like, got... Ice style chain from Aviani, like mm. Roly, like we going crazy, and like bro, this girl's young as fuck and dances, and she got shit going for her, you know. Hey, like she got money. It's a bug out, bro. Yeah, it's she a bug got out. money. That's what I'm saying. So, a lot of them got stories. You know, like that's there's a reason why they're there. Sometimes they just make mad money. That's why they're there. Hey, don't, why, why the don't fuck you going? Don't ever know? underestimate the power of a woman. Oh, I saw. Yeah. I'm looking at and like shout out to anybody who's actually watching this series. I just got into it three days ago. I don't know if you ever heard of it, Inventing Anna. I, I seen the the, the trailer. Bro, Wally, you seen it? Yo, I couldn't believe it. I'm not gonna let out too many teasers, but anybody who has not watched that series, please watch it. 
please watch it. I couldn't believe the way she finessed certain things. I was like, what? How? Yeah. How? Old oh, con artist. She, she was like, she's the, like the, the Tinder guy. But you know what? It, no. See, this is the thing. The uh. Tinder swindler, he did it for like money. He did it because he was fooling women. Mm -hmm. She was not trying to be with a guy. She was not trying to do it for money. She was actually trying to build a business. She was actually trying to do something. Oh, and fuck. she was so good at like just talking her shit, you know, mm. being confident. It was really the confidence that got her that she almost had $40 million from God a damn. bank. God damn. Like, that's as far as I'm going to go. Yeah. Even though it seems like I'm giving you guys a lot of information, it's really not. Word. There's so much more. And it's also like... The people she bumped into. She didn't bump into, like, just whack-ass artists. No, she bumped into elite people. Okay. Like, that 1% type people. Once you're just, you're hanging out with bankers yeah, exactly. and institutions, these are really big names. That's true. You got to be around. And she was only 26 years old. When she started doing it, it was 23. 23-year-old girl jumping into, like, you know, what she had to jump into. So I do recommend watching Inventing Anna. It Word. takes Tinder Swindler to... Or I gotta check it out. You know, but that guy Tinder Swindler though. I don't even know, but I didn't watch it. But I know, what? I know, like I need 50k. My enemies are after me. Oh my god! If you guys are watching yo, this, that I need shit 50K. was crazy. That shit was crazy. And you know what? The girls are dumb. Yeah, I would never. Dumb shit. I would never. I need 20 Ethereum in order to leave this building. Yeah. Wow. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that's definitely not happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's not happening. That's you, not you, happening. Did, did you watch the Kanye shit? No, I do got to watch the Kanye because I'm a yeah. big fan of Kanye. Word, I see some of his performances, though. Like, I'm a little thrown off by it. What? The performances with him in the house. And uh, it's dark. That's just fire to me. I think that's dope. I, I like who, it, but it scares me sometimes. The word. But, like, who in the fuck, like, thinks of that? To, like, bring their, put their childhood home in the middle oh, yeah, of, that's like, true. Madison Square Garden. Was it? They were in MSG. They were everywhere. Yeah. Or, no, they are in Atlanta. They were at uh, whatever the Atlanta Stadium was called. Like, who thinks of that? Like, Brahma put a house in the middle of the stadium and then have fucking Marilyn Manson, Fabio Foreign, he had Pusha Marilyn T. Manson, Marilyn Manson was in the crib. Marilyn yes. Manson? Wait, what? Yes, yes. Like, all different types of people Wait. were in the crib. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, bro. He performed. I forgot what song it was. But Marilyn Manson was out there with, like, Fabi and, and Kanye and shit. That's an odd group. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, Jesus, crazy. I haven't heard Marilyn Manson's name mm -hmm. in so long. Yeah, yeah. And, and he brought him out. That shows. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. I yeah. did not know that. I did not know that at all. So mm -hmm. uh, to me, it's just a very interesting. Also, that's that's pretty interesting too because yeah. Marilyn Manson is a Satanist. Yeah. And Kanye, and Kanye West is, is like about Jesus. God. Yeah. So that's actually kind of controversial. It is. Right there. It is. People were mad that Marilyn Manson was there. Obviously. Well, I'm not and, mad. Like, I don't give a shit about that. I personally don't care about mad. your religious things. Yeah. My thing is just like that's interesting. Word. Like, wh where do you guys collab at? Music? I don't think so. Probably just like <laughs> talking, like what I went through. Like, because Marilyn Manson was fucking huge. You know, like he was a superstar. I feel like I don't know. To me, I I only but, remember that one hit. But he had like he he has like a, a cult following though. You know, True. like he has like a Kanye West like cult type following. Yeah. Like the people who love Marilyn Manson love Marilyn. Manson. That's true. I feel like he does have his cold. He does have his thing. Mm. Well, you know what? Shout out to them. I hope that they're doing good. I didn't know that they were in the house. Yeah, why was, was five? Years, hell. First of all, why was five year old foreign in the they house? They got a song. But why would Mar like? I'm just with Marilyn trying. Manson. I'm just like, wow. Our lines are just going. Okay, we're gonna take one last call because we do got ten more minutes before the show ends. Who we got on the check in right now? Hello. You call me Jair right now. Oh my God, Jair. This hey. guy. This who made bars. Hey. Yo, we got your whole clothing line in the studio yeah. right I know, now. Dropping bombs yeah. on board. Really love the my God, the my God. Everybody lifting each other up, yo. That's what it's about. That Hell part, yeah. that part. And Hell how you doing? Yeah. How you liking the show so far? I'm not gonna lie, it's my first time viewing you. I'm gonna have to subscribe, y'all. Like yes, the contract. Yes, please do that. It's a dope setup. Thank Hell you, yeah. thank you, thank yeah. you. I gotta, I gotta get you, I gotta get you some bars, gear, yo. Okay, yeah, I'm all for it. Must. I'm all for gifts, I'm all for it. All that, all that, <laughs> definitely. And I do appreciate... Okay, so now that we got you on the line, because Thanks, we could have answered this question before. What does BARS stand for? Like, is it an acronym? For, like, what does it mean? So, it's, the name of the, the company is called BARS Creative Services. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we do clothes, but it's always just been, like, universal. Like, 
I like to keep the bar creative services just because it's like whatever we choose to do, whether it's me doing my clothes, whether it's me promoting Kenny doing his music, like it's just creative services. Like I feel like if it was just a clothing brand, you're kind of limiting yourself and like I'm a jack of all trades. Like, you know, hey, I like to do everything. You know I what I'm like saying? That. So why limit myself? Word the whole up. bar is like it's, it's, just, it's just short and simple, look dope, it's easy to play around with, manipulate it into different logos. And then the whole 777 thing, like, I know all these angel numbers and shit is like popping now, but like 777 has always meant luck, you feel me? And I feel like if you're rocking my clothes, like you got luck on your side. You know what I'm saying? Like luck, yeah. luck is luck is lended. It's never given, you feel me? So if you that got part. bars on your back, you know you got luck on your side. I like that. Yes, I like sir. that. Dropping a bomb on that. I love that. I love that. Okay. <laughs> and I see like sweaters, like I see hats. So like what else? Um, I guess where are you trying to so, push your brand? So like right now else? I'm working on spring summer, so I got shorts, okay. long sleeves, t shirts, bucket hats. And I wanna start getting into like little like collectible items, like you know what I mean, like house decor, you know, like accessories and shit. Like, I don't know. Oh yeah. Kind of seeing where it takes me and just not putting a cap or a limit on my creativity. Yeah. Having a solid team behind you just supporting. Yes, Hell before yeah. you even like end this call, definitely give out your handle so people like that are hearing on to like the interview can see where they can find you. Also like in the chat room if you want to put your Instagram name like physically there so people could actually look at like your attire. Like so people can physically see what we're talking about. Because I see it but you know so other mm. people can see it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So on Instagram, the the brand page is Bars Creative Services, all one word. Um, type type it in the chat. Yeah, facts. I'm gonna type it all in the chat right now. I got you. But. Yes. But yeah, but. love. I mean, do you got a question for us? Anything that you want to talk about? We talked about a lot of topics. If anything, you want to share a story? Oh, I think you guys tell it all. I mean. My man's right there, yo. It's, it's, I feel like watching him right now. That's exactly where he's supposed to be at. Yes, sir, my okay. guy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. right, then, love. Well, you know what? Thank you for calling in. I appreciate that because you actually answered a question that I did ask before. We didn't really have like a good, an- not good, but an- a more like I know. I informative that. I was watching. answer. I was like, damn, you know? I got to call. He's I like, I got to jump in. I got to talk about myself. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate yeah. you calling in. I appreciate you, you know, just um supporting the show, coming into the check-in. And then definitely stay tuned, love. Um, We're going to be working with Mac and hopefully have like everybody else come on. Mm-hmm. That would be a dope-ass episode for oh, sure. Yeah. But thank you. Thank yeah, you so no, much for calling in. I can make it there, but yes. definitely, been, definitely been dope. I All right, All right my love. Thank my you for God. calling in. Thank you, bro. No problem. Bye. Oh, he's so nice. I'm loving yeah. all the support from your friends, everybody calling in. Yeah, it's making my like my episode just feel good. Hell very, yeah, very good. Yeah. We got more people in the check in right now. He actually put his, his um handle there. We got O'Neal. Yo, so, shout out to O'Neal. So O'Neal in the O'Neil. building, making them beats. I see you. Thank hey. you for showing up. Producer? Yeah, so he actually engineers oh. beats. Definitely connect he was with him. My what? Yeah, he was on my sister's 316. Wally, yo, 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 O'Neal. <laughs> Wally knows you, bro. We got somebody that knows you. You said you were in his sister's 316. What's your sister's name? Stephanie. You were in Stephanie's Sweet 16. I don't know. He'll write back in the check. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I'm always, we always looking for producers to work with. You know, yeah, like, definitely like, holla yeah. him. Um, he's worked with like a couple artists. Um, I could definitely send you some beats and stuff that he no, has done yeah. because it's actually really phenomenal. Mm-hmm. All right, but I'll we got follow. we got a little bit. We got still a little bit left. Anything that you maybe want to talk about before we leave? Because um, we do have six minutes six left. Six minutes. Uh, pretty much the rest of this year, I'm gonna be consistent dropping music. Yes. Uh, we just started the vlog series. Um. We got a camera now. I see that. You guys actually dropped the video yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday. We dropped our first vlog. Well, our first vlog since Dream Girl. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, our first vlog, whatever, 2022, our first vlog. Mm-hmm. Um, actually calling it, it, the series is called No Secrets to Keep. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to run with that name. I fuck with that name a lot. No Secrets to Keep. I mean, yeah. I like it. The whole kind of secret. Yeah. And then, it's like a nice like little like intro. Like, you know, it I like it comes from a quote. I forget the guy's name. But uh, it's like, I think it's something like a... Uh, a wise man can keep a, a lot of secrets, but a wiser man has no secrets to keep. Like, something like that. Okay. That shit was fire to me. I might have said I it like wrong. I like that. But that shit was fire. I like that. Uh, so that's the name of the shit. Uh, music coming out. I got proof coming out within the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. I'll have a release date on that soon. And then the rest of the year, we just, we're flooding with content. We just, we're trying to do it, you know. Okay. Um, a lot of content coming. All right, I love that. I love that. So definitely, I want to try to play this song again. 
Um, I remember the song that we were trying to play. It was mm, a thousand. A thousand, yeah. a thousand. I do want to try to attempt this one more time. Um, nah, it's not out yet. Ooh. Uh, yo, I could airdrop it again. I don't know. Uh, uh, email or I can airdrop. Can you, can you airdrop it? Email it. Thank you, Marv. Cool. All right, so we could definitely make that happen. Mm, Beautiful. But. Yes, I'm loving the energy. Like, I mm. love when things just go in sync and just have it going. And for sure, it's just me, like, practicing the system more. Hell yeah. So, I'm excited know. to see what's next for you. Like, oh, I'm, you know you. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've like seen, I I seen even like after me, like you, you had some big people on. Yeah, doing your thing. So we're definitely and gonna now, have more guests. Hell yeah. A lot of surprises coming on. We're gonna have a lot of people. I don't want to leave it out too much, but a lot of people are coming. This is mm -hmm. why I want to try to like maybe create an event where I can have all the people come together and mm -hmm. you guys network with each other. We could do like a, a super crazy live event, maybe mm -hmm. something in the summer, like hell a block yeah. party type shit. That yeah. would be amazing. You mm -hmm. know, in the works, we just we keep in contact, we keep things going. Manifest it. Exactly. And that's it. You gotta manifest. Yes. They got manifesting. All that. All right. So we all actually right. have the. We have the track right now, guys. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and let the track play because we do got four minutes left. But one thing I want to say, everybody that's been in the check-in, I appreciate you guys so much for, like, just coming in and showing that love. You know, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Amanda, Nadine, Lola Lopez. Um, shout out to Alex, O'Neal. Shout out to my baby Blaze. I see you in here. Um, everybody, everybody, there was just so much love today. And also shout out to you guys. You're my first guest and my first platform. Oh, dope. I appreciate the love uh, and the energy. And you know what? Shout out to Marv. Shout out to shout Bravery out to Studios, though. Bra 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 bravery up. Hey, Daphne, yeah. like, it's such positive vibes. Oh, such, yeah. such, such positive vibes. The setup's legit. The shit. And now it's like, bro, it's, it's, you stepped up, bro. You bossed hey, up and shit. Thank you, thank you, oh, thank yeah. you. I was so nervous because I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was just mm -hmm. it's nervous doing something new. But Hell yeah. I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you so much, everybody that like tuned in with us. Please tune in every Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. It's Mina Mendoza, Little Girl Big Personality, out here trying to make your knees sweat. Queen of motherfucking spice. And let's let the shit rock. Yes, sir. A thousand by Kenneth Secret. Coming hey. soon. Hey. <laughs> Just keep it a thousand. How about you? 